Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna also do the pop out chat. Oh, yes. Good idea. I shall try to do the same. Alright. Nope, we sound good. Okay. Let me, I almost uh, said another outcha. Sita. 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 Oh, you know what? I should, uh. Let me try to grab the Star Rail shit. Star Rail uh, wallpaper thing. They did just have their little uh, direct, quote unquote. What's it called? I'm kind of mad. Well, kind of off topic, but yeah, kind of bringing back to um, our beginning. Um, you know, hello, how are you day? Um, so I'm mad that the the One Piece charm, mm -hmm. the booth ran out of the other um, versions of um, Sunny. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So it was only that one that was left. Was oh, like yeah. Damn. Well, if we're going to go there, I mean, um, Dao oh, was kind enough to send me some gifts. Um, so I'll show you the gifts that made it through. And then there was one that did not quite <laughs> um, make it. In, in that one... survived the trip from Hawaii. Yeah. So... Just grab everything here. Okay, right. on my screen, because you're pulling stuff, it looks like you're pulling through her boobs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, um... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me just grab this. <laughs> okay, oh, it's still in the... Pretty much like, like digging, like, hold on, hold on, honey. Oh, got yeah. it. <laughs> oh, you got me the... Yeah, this is the... Um, the city of the wolves um what do you call the, what do you call these like these uh the, 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 what do you call those like those balloon sticks that you the, like the hit? air yeah the air baton but, but air it's actually a beer yeah yeah the air baton things that you uh use at like soccer games yeah. <laughs> yeah. you got me the city of the wolves edition one that this is from evo yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh yeah it's got japanese on it that's funny <laughs> that's funny um hold on let me try Sorry, let me turn on my camera while you explain. And I did fucking forget to give you <laughs> the other. Oh, did you? The okay. Other poster. Okay. Uh, well, now, well, now you know. Well, now you know what to do with that poster because you have to um, cardboard it up somehow. I mean, it shouldn't if it's rolled up. Well, no, right? no, 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 no. You got you got to put it in some cardboard. No, no, no. I'm like, um, because there's the poster like tube shipping, right? Well, yeah, well, yeah if, as long as you put in a tube or a box or something, that should be fine. The poster box, what do you yeah. call those? Yeah. But yeah, now no, you... I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I know. I learned knowing it's half the battle. GI Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So there's the City of the Wolves air baton things. And then the, uh, um, oop, let me put my hand on there because it's disappearing. Oh, no. Oh, he's, okay. So that's Potemkin. Yeah. The fucking. From Keters. Oh, is it Keters? Oh, nice. Actually, like, yeah, yeah, because like this one does doesn't uh, what do you call convey his style as much because it's Potemkin, I guess. Because if it was like a human, more hum humanoid, I guess, then I can like tell. I can yeah. definitely like no, that's Keters' style because his his is like yeah, Keters. Like if you look throughout his years. Mm -hmm. Like it really got him better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it he definitely fully embraced the uh, that style, like the anime. And stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like, uh, I guess King would be a good. Um... Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. There's King right there for Zawa, and then there's Sunny right here, One Piece, in a little bottle. In a little, yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then, of course, one of the the staples of Hawaii, quote unquote. Oh shit! It's, oh yeah, you can see the the hook. <laughs> you can see the girl on the <laughs> box, but um, kind of hard to show. But yeah, so you can kind of see the Hawaiian host chocolates. Oh, this one got kind of crushed a little bit too, and I noticed now there's a little 
little gash or dent on the uh man i wish i could like turn off the thing uh, on the fly but anyway you can well you can see what happened here because you can tell yeah. yeah there's that indentation right there i'm showing sure azala but um oh there you go there you go now you can see there's the chocolate right here macadamia chocolate right here i'll try to be careful with these <laughs> like some people as long as this man eats the damn thing <laughs> <laughs> and then um this is really cool though the shirt this is the back of the shirt by the way i believe this is supposed to be um something relating to yakuza or uh, like a dragon yeah so that's supposed to be um the current um like a dragon game mm -hmm. infinite wealth <clears throat> infinite wealth that takes place in hawaii matsumoto's um shave ice is a uh, big ass staple in on oahu mm -hmm. that's cool yeah it's got like a dragon on there it's got ichiban and uh i believe and, i'm uh, assuming this is the the mascot or something for yeah Matsumoto. she's the mascot mm -hmm. okay you can kind of see through the oh, now mm -hmm. so now you have a shirt <laughs> i mean like how i told um simmons and um nadia you guys have shirt to wear it when you come to visit hawaii yeah 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 no absolutely i'll i'll definitely rock the shirt try not to forget uh i think that's it oh yeah and then the, the poster yeah, unfortunately did not we make... don't need to show that you know to show <laughs> that <laughs> we got let's just say uh luffy and and his crew are um are with law trying to uh get better <laughs> yeah it took some damage. yeah they took some damage unfortunately yeah it's over there right now so i'm it's a little bit of a reach but yeah um unfortunate that it happened but yeah lessons learned right you, you you learned um that you what was it ups yeah no usps ups you, fedex no shit. yeah they, they, they don't give a shit yeah places like that even of course amazon doesn't don't, don't give a shit either they're no better because um i've worked I, i've worked at those sort of places so and uh, as someone who is currently working at fedex right now i can definitely tell you that don't, that shit don't uh <laughs> you know they don't go through a peaceful process let's say let's put it that way <laughs> man you know you'll be kind of surprised of what they go through but i'm not because i'm you know a little, a little more used to it okay there you go there's the background i was looking for um so yeah uh let me go ahead and tweet it out and while we're at that that's how we start the show because uh we are on a pretty dry side so we're kind of just like uh tangenting <laughs> our way through um tangenting we never tangent no, yeah it's on topic we don't go mm -hmm. <laughs> totally not right totally not <laughs> we always have a roadmap and we follow it to a t mm -hmm. until we get to that fork, fork in the road right can you imagine us trying to just get to Vegas? We're just like, ooh, what's that? What's that? Oh, what's that over there? Oh, that, that oh, that's the uh, Barstow uh, Del Taco, man. Let's let's go let's go check it out. <laughs> I know it's like I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Then everyone who's like, let's see, we're at we got the B and B. Yeah, and then just be like, what the hell were you? <laughs> I mean, to make it more worse, we're the ones that's supposed to have the keys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're, we're the we're the um the holders of the. <laughs> it's like, where the fuck were you? <laughs> We've been waiting for three hours. Yes. <laughs> um, we got lost. <laughs> Question mark. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, right? That's how it's. That's how. That's totally how it's gonna go. Perhaps the next time we uh, have some sort of Airbnb in Vegas. <laughs> All right. Tweet this bitch out. And then we roll out. <laughs> roll out, as uh, Optimus Prime would say. 
All right. Uh, uh, I was singing the other song. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Was it Ludacris? That's like that? I think so. I want to say so. That it was him. Yep, it was. It was. Uh, it was Gro Luda. Yeah, Gro Gro Luda. Luda. Yep. Yep. Let me let me hit this since I haven't done so in a long time. For there you go. All right, we are back for uh, this edition of the Hypecast. So I like I said already, um, a little bit on the dry side, just a little bit, or it's okay. We are. Um, we do have stuff to talk about, including Hoyo stuff, and then um, somebody leaving Capcom, unfortunately. But um, you know, there there is a you know New Horizons, right? That's always the beauty of it. And then uh, another disaster um, that's uh, this time around for gaming. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, with yours truly, as always, uh, Sean, aka Hawk Five Two Five, with my cohort, as always. Sawa rocking the uh, Nakata background because it is 290, right? Pokemon no number 290 is Nakata for those who uh, have not uh, uh, remembered or have forgotten. Because there is a lot of Pokemon, I know, I know. There's like what a thousand now at this point. I think I think we just hit a thousand or a little over a thousand at this point, especially with all the new additions and DLCs and stuff for um, Scarlet and. Uh, what was the other one? <laughs> oh shit! Violet. <laughs> was it? Is it Violet? Okay, okay. I I, yeah. I thought it was, but I was, I was like, I was like, come on. <laughs> I, I could have sworn it was some sort of like more complicated name, but okay, it's Violet. Okay, fine. Anyway, so Pokemon, there's a lot of them, right? Anyway, so um, we do have stuff to talk about, nonetheless, and um, let's get right into it. So, um, unfortunately, because it is a little dry. Uh, there is uh, actually not so much to talk about in fighting games, so we're uh, glossing that over. Unfortunately, I even checked on you know like Fatal Fury. There's nothing there. I don't think there's anything for Street Fighter Six. Um, nothing else for like what what you call um any other fighting game really. Tekken Tekken Eight. N nope. Um. So yeah, it's actually a pretty. Um, well, I guess with the Tekken Eight. Oh, it's it's not like news. It was just more of a fun little um, a little jab to Harada. Mm. Like, I forgot what event they these people were like at, but Harada was like in the front of them, and the guy like wrote on his phone like "Nerf Dragon Off" mm. and <laughs> just turned around and just like glare through his sunglasses and then just turned back. <laughs> Face the, the mm. main stage, and I was like, I think I saw that. Yes, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I would do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at that point, you kind of, you kind of just want to just turn around and not even give them the the air, right? <laughs> the air of your time, <laughs> pretty much. You know, I, I get it, dragging off strong, but it's it's really the heat rush that's rewarding him. Really, so if you want to nerf him, you gotta change up the heat rush or heat system mechanic thing um, somehow, without like making it less fun or restrictive or whatever, right? So I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll like I don't, see like if if they add more to it for the heat rush stuff, then that's only gonna make Dragon Ball stronger. That's right, I think theoretically at least. So I don't know. It's like. Do you just nerf Dragon off to the ground where he's like not fun anymore? I mean, I could, but he's not gonna be fun. That's the problem, right? Whereas, um, I guess you gotta like just um take the time to buff everyone else up somehow, right? But that takes more time. So mm, I don't know. Maybe a Tekken 2.0 ish kind of thing could happen, where they just like buff the shit out of like everyone else and then don't touch the what is it what top five characters or something i don't know yeah, yeah i don't know what the, the hell what, what do i know about game balancing because it's a tricky thing for especially for fighting games right one way or the other people are gonna be complaining so um that is uh 
kind of how it goes for for uh, games like Tekken 8, fighting games in general, really, you know. I think the only other thing I could mention for um, fighting game related stuff is like, you know, like, you know, like the uh, the project with um, the Marvel Infinite stuff, right? It seems to be going along and then there are still people modding uh, Marvel 3 and uh, I saw Blackheart being modded in there and then like, uh, who was another character? Um, I know Blackheart. I saw Blackheart. It was actually pretty impressive. Um, oh, who who was who's the um the guy from Ghost Rider? He was like kind of like the old, you know, like the old teacher. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think he did. Yeah, Ghost Rider. Yeah, Basically, uh, his master, essentially. Yeah. The old dude. And he and in the movie, he was like. You know, like um, you know, let's 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 ride one last time or something like that. <laughs> and he roll, he roll on the horse. <laughs> his and name. He was like, "Yeah, we're gonna fight together." No pony had enough left for me for one more transformation. Yep. Okay, bye. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. That was disappointing, but yeah, I guess you know. There was no other way to like exclude him from the fight or something. I don't know. Otherwise, of course he would whoop some ass, you know. Yeah. Anyway. He old. Yeah. He old. That too. That too. So yeah, I saw those two, and um, it just goes to show like how much love is still being put into these games. And um, I said this before on uh, one of my Twitter posts, and I said, imagine Nintendo like kind of seeing this. For their game and they're just like no nah, right because they're like infamous for um not letting the fans like making their own fan games that celebrate theirs right you know like the, someone was trying to make like, a fan metroid game people were trying to make a, a, a pokemon fan game or something uh which they thought would hurt hurt their bottom line so they of course took those down and of course everything else that's that's relating to like Nintendo modding uh, wise too, like they took those down like in a heartbeat. You know what? That's or that's what it felt like at least. Uh, so, do you remember uh, Project M? Yep. Yeah, with Smash. Mm. Mm-hmm. Blast from the past, right? They're like, nope, right? So they had to stop doing it. And then Project Slippy, I believe it was. That was the um, rollback netcode or something. It was like a really good netcode system for. Um, for melee right so that people can people who love melee can play online you know and do their thing because you know especially during covid right um you know couldn't uh, quite play with each other locally um someone came up with that it ran for a while and then nintendo was like nope i think right i think they said no to, to that yeah, nintendo um, yeah. off the cease and desist shit and it's like yes yeah they're like, okay you're doing all this shit are you guys gonna do it then? Yeah, Since, you know we pretty much beat you to the punch. Oh no! Yep. Like then, it's like why? Why play these old games when we have these new games? Kind of mentality. It's like what the fuck, brother? <laughs> my brother, my brother in Christ, please. I mean, kind of like um, like I recently found my old like some fucking old PS2 games and. PSP games yeah. that were like hidden and locked away, and I'm like, you cannot. Mm -hmm. so, some of these you may, and some of these was like you cannot find these on the mm -hmm. the eShop or whatnot. Yeah. But yeah. some of them are like, um, apparently, I have two games mm -hmm. because I guess they're counted as complete because it has the original casing, the original uh, art sleeve. The instruction booklet. <laughs> yep, everyone. Mm -hmm. we, we had the instruction booklet. Yep. And uh, almost, you know, pristine this. They go for uh, 150 each. Like, lordy. And I was like, yeah, no, I ain't selling these shit. Yeah. These are relics. Mm -hmm. Then I see in my collection the uh, <laughs> Dirge of Cerberus. It's like, oh yeah, this this I can sell. 
This can go. This <laughs> 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 can't fucking be yeeted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So enough of that. Yeah, like we said, we we're gonna we were totally not gonna tangent, right? Anyway, so um, let's go ahead and blast the uh, frontline news stuff. So let's go ahead and do this one. I see it. I see the battlefront too. Holy shit! My god! <laughs> My god! It's like a Bible at this point, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The Old Testament. <laughs> how much this is going for now? Yeah. <laughs> right. Thousands. No? <laughs> Arm and a leg and thousands of dollars. <clears throat> but uh, meanwhile, in the front line side of things. Um, okay. Only, so, only seven bucks. Fuck you. <laughs> really? Oh, damn. Okay. Never mind. That's that was underwhelming. But anyway. So, what's um, not quite so underwhelming, and in, in, uh, in fact, overwhelming for some people, is I believe um, the order has gone through where Brazil yep. uh, has pretty much banned uh, X slash Twitter off of their grid, pretty much. Or they're pretty much going to. And uh, for those who are like, oh, why, don't you, why not use a VPN? Well, says it right here apparently that um if you do use a vpn to access twitter slash x you will be fined up to um eight almost nine thousand dollars a day following its suspension uh so yeah if you want to do that then i guess you want to pay up nine thousand dollars worth of um brazilian currency right you know yeah. that's that's wild dude that is fucking wild. Um, I didn't catch quite as to why they're banning it. Um, and they're so it's uh, it's pretty much like you can just uh, just the mishandling of information and you know. Oh, okay. And actually letting you know, you know, people users. Mm -hmm. It'd just be you know racist as, as fuck stuff uh-huh the propaganda is not that oh so that type of it stuff pretty okay. much like like actual brazil news will be just buried mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from you know propaganda mm -hmm. and then, yeah un, i'm just gonna call them uneducated users here in the u.s going like but this is freedom of speech for america Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Please point onto the map of the USA where Brazil is. <laughs> right. Is Brazil part of America? No. They have their own central government and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is South America? <laughs> <laughs> right. But yeah. Okay. Okay. I get the gist of that. So that's yeah. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's also a little more to it, but yeah, I think that sounds about right. Um, with the information stuff, misinformation and propaganda, all that stuff. So, the Brazilian government doesn't like seeing that, unfortunately. So, uh, they're just gonna just suspend it slash ban it altogether for Brazil. Uh, just you know, and so Brazil, all the Brazilian Twitter users that actually put out some cool content, right, including art and stuff like that um and just you know nice little shit posts in here and there blah 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 whatever right whatever they do on twitter that's all gonna go away so they have to pretty much like go to some alternatives like uh i, I mean i don't know what uh brazilian brazil has right access to exactly but maybe i'm, I'm assuming instagram i'm assuming um uh, hopefully blue sky you know so this this could be a start. This could be a start of people going, uh, you know, migrating to blue sky places like that because of this kind of kind of bullshit. So, um, this the, I I feel like this this is a start. If more and more countries are going to ban X or uh, X slash Twitter, um, you know, what's the point, right? And then maybe um, all those companies are going to start seeing that and be like, oh, we should migrate ourselves as well. 
and such like that. And then eventually Elon Musk is gonna be like, what happened? Right? Why'd you leave? This is a great place for freedom of speech and such. You know? And that's the stuff that I do really don't like. Uneducated people. Yeah, freedom of speech. Yeah. Freedom of speech is doesn't mean freedom of um fucking consequences. Yeah, exactly. You're not free of, of the, the consequences. Of, yeah. And then people go and then they try to counter like, well, that's because you're a snowflake or you don't have a backbone. <laughs> Like that's not, you know, <laughs> anywhere near. Right. Like. Projecting, projecting much, <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you're essentially saying, I can say something, but you can't, right? <laughs> it's kind of thing. Yeah, freedom of speech goes both ways, right? Right? Like it, we are, we are free to express our opinion about someone else's freedom of speech kind of thing right so isn't that the whole point right so obviously if you're going to shit on them you know for something they said that's kind of how it works right you know if if they have a quote-unquote a shit take or whatever it is right so um that's just kind of how it works man you know if you don't if if, if you, you if you can't get take the heat get, get you know get out of the kitchen that's just kind of uh, how the saying goes and yep. yeah so but brazil has had enough of that i guess so they just said nope to um x slash twitter and um that is going to be gone uh i don't know when exactly but yeah um, a lot of like the brazilian users are just are just like well it's been fun here i made a lot of friends but unfortunately some idiots were kind of ruined it so you know that is essentially how it's going right now until somehow they uh, go 180 and be like, oh, um, we work things out, blah, 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 whatever, some shit. But that's, I don't know. How, I don't know how that's going to happen, really. So I'm not a real expert in the uh, sort of Brazilian politics. So, yeah, very, very unfortunate for the genuine actual uh, Brazilian users that use it too well. I mean express their passions and all that stuff and you know try to uh get some sort of fame through legitimate shit you know like with their content art music whatever it is right um but i i, I just really hate how like everything was working just fine on twitter until until literally until fucking Elon Musk bought it out for some reason or somehow, right? Literally went downhill from there. Has not gone up ever since. It, I feel like it's only going to go down more and more as time goes on. Yeah. Because um, Elon Musk is just so obsessed with himself and X and all that dumb shit. And then somehow moving to um, Texas is going to solve everything. He's like, no. Nah. No, the fuck, yeah, man, yeah. I don't know what goes on in that man's mind except money, <laughs> pretty much. Money and the... mm -hmm. kind of sad that his own family kind of like disowned him. <laughs> right. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm kind of surprised all as well at the same time. Oh man. And then also like again, like his followers. Yes. I mean like wow, they're so ungrateful. It's like it's called they actually have you know a mind of their own. Yes. Yeah, exactly. A, a spine. They see something mm -hmm. they see something fucked up. They are they ain't gonna roll over and like K yes. Yeah, they ain't gonna just, you know, turn around Get into position and take it, man. You know, they don't, they ain't got to take that shit. They ain't got to get on their knees and be like, oh, thank you, Elon Musk. Oh, or thank you, daddy. Or everything. Oh, you know, whatever. Fuck. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, man, you, Whoa. you seen, you seen those fucking Elon Musk followers, man. Shit. Yeah. They go, they go brown nosing in that shit. They go brown nosing. 
Their noses are just covered in the brownness. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, <laughs> it's like how how's that um, how's that boot taste? Right. Mm hmm. How's it smell down there, my friend? <laughs> anyway, so well, uh, so in short summary, Elon Musk got ruined Twitter, and uh, yeah, it's not this. It's, it has not been the same since. Absolutely not. Um. You can kind of say the same for Capcom, speaking of which, it's going to be less uh, less of a same place, right, as um, one of the most respected uh, creators out there. Uh, Hideaki Itsuno is leaving Capcom after 30 years of his work. Um, you know, for those who are big fans of Capcom, um, know this man, uh, pretty much, because of his work with a lot of stuff from Capcom, right? A lot of the iconic stuff, including, um, you know, as when he was a director back in 1994-ish, um, he worked on Rival Schools, then Power Stone, N2, Power Stone 1 and N2, Project Justice, which is basically uh, Rival Schools, Darkstalkers, Chaos Tower, uh, One Piece Mansion, which I'm not sure if that's like the One Piece I know uh, I'm thinking of, or I think there is another game called One Piece Mansion that's not relating to One Piece. But anyway, not important. It's um, a um, it's a dating sim. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I figured much. Um, uh, no, I, I don't know what it is. I'm oh, just is it? It's okay, okay. I don't know either. So I, I I'm just trying to engage. Like, like, come on, come on. Who are who are we gonna date in this mansion? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, it's, it's just this is a strategy video game, so I actually do not remember ever seeing this as it looks scary, yeah, kind of interesting just from the cover, but anyway. Oh, but there, there's some romance if you look in the left corner up there <laughs> of some kind, but anyway. Um, of course, CBS 2, Margaret of Millennium. Right. Um, Auto mode, uh, Modelista. Uh, that was a very unique, I believe, uh, a cell shaded racing game by Capcom. Kind of, like, it's like a lost relic almost uh, for the GameCube. Uh, I always seen it, uh, like footage of the game. It looked pretty cool. I've never got it unfortunately, but um, I've all I've always seen. Remember seeing it on like G4. Remember back when G4 was actually about video games, <laughs> you know, and um, it was on TV and everything. Yeah. Um, they will make Cry 3, uh, obviously. They will make Cry 3, Special Edition, uh, DMC4, Dragon's Dogma, DM DMC4 Special Edition, DMC5, DMC5 Special Edition, and Dragon Dragon's Dogma 2. I, I believe that's uh, his last one. For major things, anyway. And here, he, mm -hmm. he has a good repertoire. Yes, he, he has, has a good a track, track record for sure, for okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he was pretty much the man behind um, what we know of uh, Devil May Cry, because I believe Devil May Cry three was really what to kind of define how we know uh, Dante, if I'm if I'm if I'm correct. Whereas uh, the the MC one and two is pretty much like him after i believe uh yeah. a number of the games right because uh he, that's him like as an adult at, the, at that point like he's like yeah so like game timeline wise like if you were gonna like which comes first it is three yeah i think it's three one two and then follows follow suit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right and then but um the sort of like that Devil May Cry 3, nature kind of like bled over to more of uh, the MC4 and 5, right? And so, um, pretty, pretty much like that, that helped like kind of sort of define Dante to what we know today. And uh, of course, that was when Itsuno was behind that stuff. I forget who was behind 1 and 2, that I don't know for sure. But 
Itsuno, um, importantly, he was the one who put DMC on the map in a way, right? And, well, again, defining what Dante uh, is up to this point, as of today. And, of course, uh, my favorite games of all time, really, the one I really played a lot was Dragon's Dogma for me, you know. I, I've yet to play Dragon's Dogma 2, you know, shame on me, because I haven't had the time to do so. But, um... Dra how dare you? Right, right, yeah, how dare me. But, um, Dragon, for the first Dragon's Dogma, though, man... What what a game that was! Like I I I almost I, I almost did every run playthrough with every class. And that's how in love I was with this game. Even though it was like pretty janky, it ran like shit on uh, the PS3 and everything. But I loved it. I loved the game, right? And um, that's all thanks to Itsuno, of course, and his team, right? Things like that um, will make me. Will make me uh, miss Itsuno's work. You know, when it comes to Devil May Cry, I only fully delved into five. But hey, I, at least I got a piece of the pie in a way. And then, of course, I, I played the shit out of Capcom uh, versus SNK2, right? Especially on the GameCube. So, uh, what is your sort of uh, sort of connection or? relations with uh Itsuno's work like do you have you um what, what are your memories when it comes to any of these games really well thank you for highlighting capcom versus sck2 mm -hmm, water right. up right water up you both wait hold on hold on hold on. Uh, hold on let me play the sound let me play the sound this battle is about to explode now we have an excuse to play that sound <laughs> <laughs> Right. So yeah. Go on. Yeah. Playing that in the arcades with friends or, or random people, just you know, having fun as kids. Mm -hmm. Uh, Power Stone. I only played the first one. I played the. I, yeah. I think I played the demo at my friend's house uh, back on the Dream Dreamcast. Yeah. Uh, rival schools. Uh, mm -hmm. How they go upstairs? Yeah. Home consoles. I believe the Dark Stalkers Chronicle, the Chaos Tower, was the PSP game. Hmm. Okay. You can look that up real quick here. I know. Um, yeah, that was the PSP game. Yeah, PSP. You are correct. But it was also, it was also on Dreamcast. Uh, Dreamcast. Yeah. yeah. But you but you played it on the PSP. PSP. Yeah. Okay. Which again, everyone, if you wanted to know what was the best handheld um, device, not Nintendo, the PSP. Mm -hmm. The shit that you can do on that thing was... Tremendous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. I did play a little bit of three, and then I did play. Oh, Devil May Cry three. Mm -hmm. Devil May Cry four. I watched friends play it. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragon's Dogma. I played it myself. I think I didn't go. I almost made it up to the end, but then it. I think other games got in the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, five played it, and mm -hmm. I bought the special edition because I had um. I think it was Virgil they added in. Yes, yeah, pretty much. And then I didn't play Dragon's Dogma two mm -hmm. yet because yeah. the other ship got in the way. Yes. Pretty so much. pretty much, yeah. From 1994, when he was hired, mm -hmm. so, you know, I want to say like he is part of your game you know game library right like he's, well, he was part of, of our he was part of our like the gaming generation more ways than one definitely absolutely right he was kind of like the which one of the backbones or one of the pillars of uh, pillars, Cap, yeah. of capcom which now that um the fighting games volume two the one that comes after um the marvelous capcom um, stuff mm-hmm now it kind of makes sense why you know they threw in Power Stone and uh, Star Gladiator, I believe. It's yeah, like, it's, it's proud of me, like a, a, you know, like a thank you, mm -hmm, like an honor, Please, and you know. yes, as a way to pay respects to Itsuno san as he is about to leave um, the company. So, uh, could you read his statement that he wrote out um, 
on originally on Twitter, but it, I believe it's here as well. Uh, so it said, Sayonara, fuck you, mm -hmm. I rich bitch. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> okay, anyways, mm -hmm. I have an announcement for all my followers. Mm -hmm. not, this is not me talking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Yeah. At the end of August 2024, I almost said that in Japanese, I will be leaving Capcom after Sanju years. I forgot how to say years in Japanese. Sanju <laughs> name. Yeah, Sanju name. And five months. Thank you for your long term support of the games and characters I've been responsible for. No, thank you. You said. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now tell, now tell Capcom to bring back um, Project Crossover before you step out the door. Oh, yeah, really? Come on, man. Come on. They, they gotta bring that game. Uh, fuck, fuck, that's gonna be like a nightmare. Yeah, I know. My... Or um, rights. Rights I hope licensing. You to... Yeah, faithful. Mm -hmm. I hope you'll continue to support Capcom's games and characters. Yeah, give us Dino Crisis, then we'll care. <laughs> From September, I will start developing a new game in a new environment. Mm. I hope to create fun, beautiful games that are that are as memorable as, or even more memorable than the ones I've created so far. Mm. Please stay tuned for my next creation. Should be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, you there you have it. Um, another iconic director slash creator of sorts uh leaving a iconic co game company so yeah kind of hate to see it but it happens and they want to you know move on to different things and different things yeah or new directions mm -hmm. yeah you, you know, know I, I will not bat an eye mm -hmm. if itsuna san ends up with kojima for for a while that would be, like i have i would be like, pretty you know, funny I, yeah, that would be pretty funny. So yeah, this is this is the original statement where it came yeah, from. Okay. Yeah, so okay, I want to show you the, the Japanese. Look. Uh, yeah, good luck with I this. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> good I luck. just see all the all the kanji. I'm like, oh, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm short circuiting. Mm-hmm. Right. Actually, I, how, how did I forget this? There was something to talk about for fighting games. Uh, man. For, uh, well, there was a Nintendo Direct. Yes, first she off, is. Right. She needs to be in Street Fighter 6. Yep. Bring me Ingrid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I guess this, is, uh, this works because, yeah, on the topic of CVS 2, it is a part of the collection, right? So um, that was announced on Nintendo of all things, right? The Nintendo Direct that we kind of had uh, recently, which, um, yeah, it's um, another big thing, right? For Capcom fighter fans, uh, along with uh, what was the other games? Like, yeah, there's CBS 2, uh, Star Gladiator, Star Gladiator, Power Stones, Stones 1 and 2. two. Mm -hmm. um, is Fighting Jam one of them? Um, no, not fighting Jim. Okay. Um, what the fuck? Alpha? We'll, we'll uh... Oh, I'm fighting evolution. Fighting evolution, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo... Again, the, the most horrible game ever made, but... It has Ingrid, so... <laughs> yes. I don't think that saved it, but still. Yes. Um... Let me just go ahead and... See. Oh yeah, so let me go ahead just jump right into um yeah there you go. So Capcom Fighting Thank Collection two. Yeah, sure. yeah. You know what's funny? Who's not on the cover? Or who's not on the poster? Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Kilo is not the poster child. Yeah. He's it was T V. Mm so I guess Terry is the face of SNK, while um, yeah. Keo is the face of KOF. I think that's a real technical yeah. sort of thing. But Terry is also the face of Fatal Fury, so which is kind of funny, right? 
But um, it's it's there's like I want to give go ahead. um Terry like a you know a tip of the hat like gentlemanship tip of the hat. Mm-hmm. Look what he's doing for my. He's being so gentleman like. He's like, mm, y'all <laughs> horny. <laughs> Do not stare. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you gotta have my my uh, my and Chun Li, right? That sort of eternal rivalry when it comes to cro- crossover fighting games, right? But I like the random ca- background characters, right? Which they're not supposed to be so random because it's Batsu, right? From, from I Rattles. don't know what's going on with Bot's face. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's like, hey, yes, you want some drugs? <laughs> you want to you want to play some rival schools? <laughs> Want to play some motherfucking fighting games? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Ingrid is just there, like I'm here to thank just look you pretty. For remembering me? Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. I, was, I think that's. I don't think that's a face behind Ingrid. I think that's supposed to be Matsu's glove or something. It, it might... Yeah, I think that's his gloves going like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it looks like to me. But it could be also be someone else's face. I don't. I'm not sure what's going Slender on. Slender Man. That. Yeah, Slender Man. I don't know. It might as well be. But yes, Ingrid is there. She exists. People, pe- you know, people, somebody has not forgotten. Well, including Shinkiro, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. I forget her name, but she, she, I know she's from Star Gladiator. Um, yeah. And then she, is she from Cyberbots or is she, she is she from, no, I forget, I forget what it was. I, I don't know exactly. And then of course that's um, Falcon I from. I she's from, yeah, that's Falcon. Right. I really thought that was she's that girl character from Power Stone. Power Stone? She does have the umbrella. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe maybe a character from Power Stone. I don't remember her though uh, personally. Mm-hmm. Um. So anyway. Jesus. Hmm. Uh, so there is Capcom vs. SNK, Project Justice, Street Fighter Alpha 3, and then... Oh, uh, no, it's not Project Justice, it's Project Justive. Oh, yeah, Justive, yeah, according to IGN, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm a fraud. <laughs> and then St- Street Fighter 3, Al- wait, Alpha 3. Upper. And- upper? What, what, what? What's, what's, I don't know what's going on. Who wrote yeah, wh- this? What is upper? Did it? Is it Did no? Is this like AI written or something? What's going on here? What the fuck? Okay, anyway, I'm I'm gonna get off of this article. I'm 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 sorry. Hold on. Let me actually, um, find another Nintendo Nintendo Direct thing. There we go. Yeah, Polygon. Yeah, hopefully Polygon's a little better, but. Um, Steed Fighter. <laughs> Steed Fighter, right? <laughs> Good thing it wasn't like Skate Fighter or something like that. That would be like, that'd be a mess, literally. But anyway, so, okay, so, uh, uh, CVS 2, yes, we already said that. Capcom Fighting Evolution, Street Fighter Alpha 3, uh, Upper, I guess. There's, I guess there is an Upper edition of sorts. Maybe it might be a Japan thing only. Maybe that's why. Yeah. And then Project Justice, Power Stone, Power Stone 2, and Plasma Sword. Um, which that is, I believe, Star Gladiator, yes. So, uh, Nightmare of Belstein, uh, packaged together in this collection and coming 2025. So we still, still have quite a wait, um, for this one. Whereas this one, Capcom Finding, Finding Collection, uh, is coming September 12th. And then Digital. digitally, and then physical is going to be November 22nd, so... Uh, I'll probably just pick uh, up the uh, digital edition myself. Digital. Yeah, but whereas for I guess Capcom um, announced it that if you get the physical version, there's mm-hmm. a comic that goes with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And for those that wants to know, like where to get the com- uh, the physical, you know, Amazon, GameStop, Best Buy, mm. all of that retail. But yeah. I think at the moment of this recording, Amazon is temporary, you know, um, sh- uh, shut down the pre-order. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's, um, it says it's like temporary out of stock. So okay. for my, for my sake, I just went through, um, GameStop and I had some points. So I brought that, mm. that price tag down. Nice. Okay. Which I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Oh, look at all these points. <laughs> Done. <laughs> 
You know, honestly, I should probably put the put my best buy points into um the Marvel collection or whatever. Mm -hmm. At least the physical. At least the physical one. I, I kind of want to get the physical one as well. I, I am very tempted. Um, a little bit of tangent. Meanwhile, there is Tetris Forever and NES Tetris. Um, and then Star Overdrive, Post Simulator Three, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star game. <laughs> Interesting title. Fitness Boxing Three, your what? personal trainer. Uh, and then we already said the the Finding Collection stuff. Alti um, Atelier uh, Yomia, Yomia, excuse me. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be the series uh, that featured the girl with the you know the thighs and the the shorts. Um, it moved on to a different uh, thing now, so that, that's why you have a different girl on there. So, okay. Um, so you code in 1 and 2 HD remaster. Dragon Quest 3 HD uh, 2D remake. Castlevania Dominus uh, collection. So this one has Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, uh, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ex uh excel wait exclusia <laughs> sorry i'm a little butchering on that one um sid meyer civ, civ, uh, civ 7 tales of graces f remastered wow that's a relic for me <laughs> that is a relic for me uh my and, sims and you know who woke up like fucking three in the morning to just get a fucking phone call going hey if you love me, buy me this, and I just fucking hanged up. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, Tales of Graces. Oh, okay. He really loves it. Mm -hmm. My boyfriend loves that. Well, he loves the Tales of mm -hmm. series. But, hey. But when, he, was, when he woke me up at three, he was like, if you love me, you buy me this game. I was like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> He's like, I have work in three hours, mm -hmm. you asshole. Or in two hours, you asshole. Jeez, you're right. He loves it that much, I guess. My Sims Cozy Bundle, Five Nights at Freddy's, I guess. Uh, so both, I guess, Help Wanted 2 and Security Breach Ruin are both coming to uh, the Switch. Room Factory, Guardians of uh, Azuma. And then you have Yakuza Kiwami coming to the Switch as well. And then there is the Indie World um, portion of things, which uh, I'm not going to go through too much other than, well, there is Power Wash Simulator. <laughs> With the Shrek edition, I guess. Um, sea of Stars. Date everything. Interesting. Yeah, there's all like the indie stuff. Oh, Shovel Knight. Shovel, Shovel of Hope DX. Europa. Um, On Your Tail. Metal Slug Tactics. That's that's not a, it's a indie, is it? I don't know. Pizza Tower, I guess. And then... Yep, that's about it. But yeah, essentially, um, the biggest one, at least for us anyway, was indeed the uh, Capcom Collection stuff once again. So this, this is this is definitely my jam because it has CBS two in there as well. You know, so I definitely would like to uh, pick this up along with the Power Stone stuff. I would li really like to um actually own some sort of copy of Power Stone 1 and 2 so it'll be all conveniently in one little collection right uh, but unfortunately that is coming 2025 so we do have to wait like I said but yeah um so that is it for that um tangenting off the fact that yes Itzino did work on um CBS 2 right along with Power Stone 1 and 2 Project Justice, right? All that fun stuff. Ah, my man. Fighting games, you know, still at it, right? Still eating good, right? The fighting, fighting game fans are still eating good somehow. So, but of course, thank you, Itsuno san, for your hard work for your 30 years, right? Over 30 years, in fact. And uh, you've definitely left a, a very deep impression in the uh, Capcom uh, landscape, right? His footprint will forever be there. Uh, forever shaped Capcom. Um, 
to what it was, right? Or to, to what it is. And hopefully it'll stay like that for a longer while, right? And hopefully whoever will, will, will want, to, want to, like, uh, sort of carry on the torch of Devil May Cry, hopefully they can carry on that sort of same spirit and philosophies that, um, you know, Eastino had. So, hopefully we can uh, have that. Uh, once we cross that bridge, so. Um, okay. So, that's that. We can got that taken care of. So, let's go ahead and talk about the game's news. So, let's go ahead and fire this up. Ding! Um, okay. So, for those Hoyo fans out there, like myself, um, there was, uh, some drip marketing of sorts. For those who are familiar with that term, uh, they dropped <laughs> uh, uh, they dropped a character, a new character that's coming up uh, sometime in the future in Star Rail, Honkai Star Rail, named Rappa, right? Um, Rappa the Rappa the Papa Rappa. Mm -hmm, right. <laughs> like, judging from like the the design itself already, really reminds me of um, if anyone remembers. Um, um, Darling, in, Darling in the Franks. It's basically like uh, the collaboration of Trigger and A One Pictures, and they made the. Uh, it's like a mecha anime with like tight body suits and you know what I mean, like that fan service and a lot of butt shots and whatever. <laughs> and so, um, and of course, um, Zero Two was like that girl that people were, you know, um, oogling over for a lot long, long while, you know girl with pink hair horns um kind of like get, getting off that like that demon girl vibe right kind of same thing here but obviously this is like for from her hat so yeah um but if you look at the design right of this artwork right here it's pretty pretty different you know from uh you kind of feel like the 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 urbanness to it the uh graffiti all that stuff right Kind of gives off like you know NBA like street vibes, you know, very street punkish, if you will. Um, and not to mention, right, she has like a, a what looks like to be some sort of spray can or something, and she has a big ass you know ninja star along with her. So she's supposed to be some sort of like street punkish, also sort of future uh, punk um, ninja of sorts, like a space ninja almost, because he she is supposed to be designated as a um galaxy ranger so uh one of many groups in star rail that are supposed to be out there you know like taking out bad guys and stuff like that uh to some sort sort uh they also kind of act like bounty hunters so that's why um the more sort of like authoritative figures like um the ipc they kind of act like the cops in the galaxy <clears throat> they have like bounties on them because um you know they kind of go over the line and take it a little too far so mm -hmm. mm. so they're kind of like vigilantes if you will right um yeah talks about being a ninja blah blah, blah. um ninjutsu my cosmetic ninjutsu methods blah 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 um so yeah, pretty interesting, right? On top of the fact that, yeah, look at, you know, this whole design of itself. Uh, Five-star unit. She's going to be of uh, imaginary element, which basically is equivalent to light, if you think about it. And she, I believe, will be... I think that's harmony, which means she'll be some sort of uh, supportive unit. But let me see. Um, star rail? Let me just... Oh no, actually, she might be erudition. Excuse me, hold on. Oh yeah, so that's harmony. Uh, I believe that's erudition. Okay, excuse me, that was my mistake. Which basically means she will be AOE. So that automatically will sound really promising because AOE is king uh, in Star Star Rail right now. Um, maybe with the exception of what's coming up, because a couple of units are going to be um, hunt uh, units, which basically means they are single targets. And uh, erudition means they are AOE units. So, over the past while in Star Rail, 
AOE has been king because there's a lot of enemies that come out at a time, and uh, and so you kind of want uh, a lot of like AOE damage. But it looks like maybe they'll change things up. Maybe they'll make it so like the hunt or the single target units will have some sort of limelight, unlike all the other times when the AOE units um, were like just being glazed all the time. But mm -hmm. um, but for right now, I mean, what do you what, what do you think of this uh, unit just from looking at her like what um <clears throat> well she was like a square square enix character obviously gonna be a ninja because of her i'm sure he can mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thank god she does not have pigtails and though i can see a little bit teal in her hair so i'm like oh god Please, please don't have the voice of like Harley Quinn right now. Mm, right. I think that's the the highlights from yeah. whatever it is. So I think she's overall pink haired. Uh, I do. I do like the fact that you know she has a long ass you know spiky ponytail thing going on. Yeah. So she 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 kind of does have that short hair look to her, but obviously yes, she has actually long hair. But yeah. Um, I'm also interested what's happening in the background. Mm -hmm. Those three um bodies. Yeah, there's like three things fighting. I'm not sure what that is. Um, monkeys. two of them e appear to be monkey like. Yeah, no, actually, all of them are monkeys. Looks like because they're, they're tails. And then one of them has like the um super monkey ball monkey design going on. So you got like the round ears and like the round head and. Yeah, pretty interesting. That, 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 now that you point that out, I'm like, yeah, what is going on back there? So is she affiliated with like monkeys or something? Hmm, that's interesting. That I don't understand. But um, I I do like her design though. I personally like her design. I think it looks cool. I like um the use of combinations of, of like you know the the ninja fish nets kind of thing, and then um obviously meeting these sort of uh. Hoyo designs, right? They they gonna have like those belts and straps and all that stuff. They gonna have like the the <laughs> the um the thong straps. They love doing that. I don't know why, but hey, it's fan service, right? Um, and then the hat is one of like the unique pieces. I have to say, it's kind of like I don't know. It's like it's like a almost like she's a part of like um a biker gang at one point or something. Kind of interesting. But it has the horns, so that definitely sets it apart for sure. But yeah, I don't know. I I, I just really like this design, and uh, I would like to pull for her uh, eventually when she comes out. So, um, so again, yeah, rapper, right? That was a, a little standalone thing. Yeah, it came out of nowhere, ish. But then you had uh the um live stream which there is a good overview summarized into here so basically yes yeah, so you get codes if you redeem them you get free gems um obviously some cool artwork right featuring um Fei Xiao. that's one of the generals behind her is like her, one of her sort of like uh guards elite guards um uh, i believe his name is pronounced moza not mose Moza. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Damn it. <laughs> and then um that is Ling Sha, I think her name is. She's like a uh, she's gonna be a healing unit upcoming uh, in an upcoming patch that's um going to be playing on playing along the style of a uh, super break. So um I, I think the break mechanic is a little uh kind of similar with how we do with um in Zenless Zone Zero, right? You or you, you kind of like stun the unit, right? And then you activate all those chains, right? Same thing here. Um, similar, similar fashion. You break. They have a weakness weakness gauge. You bring that down. They go into a break state and you just beat the shit out of them. You know, kind kind of the same. It, it, it's all. It's, it's, it's um, sixteen did that. Uh, Final Fantasy sixteen did that, pretty much. Uh, similar mechanic 
And um, Ling Xia, I believe, is going to be emphasizing that. Um, there's going to be a new area called the Sky Splitter, which basically, basically is like a, um area where you're on a battleship of sorts. You see the cannons. Uh, and this is going to be an arena of sorts. New enemies. This is going to be a new boss. Uh, I believe the one on the left is a... Um, not not a weekly boss, but like um, like an elite you know, like an elite enemy basically, and then Shadow of Face Shao is going to be the weekly boss, so like the big the big like boss you can only fight like what once once a week or, may, or maybe three times if you want to put all your resources into that fight, um, and then obviously obviously new characters that come along with that Face Shao, general very powerful and. Um, uh, talking about her before, she has some sort of like condition where it's limiting her life uh, span. But mm -hmm. I guess in exchange, she does have a lot of power and stuff like that. She, I think she transforms or something. She has some sort of transformation or something, or goes into a state uh, of sorts that get uh, brings her a lot of power. But um, she loses, um, uh, or she she she's uh, pretty much like has a rage, right? She's like, going into like a rage state, and uh, kind of goes wild, you know. Uh, yeah, Ling Sha, healing unit. Um, Moza, he's a four star unit, and um, I believe he's going to be in the same banner as Fei Xiao, which works for me because I really like her so far because she's like. Kind of like one of those like um tough girls, right? She kind of uh checks off the you know the trope of like the leader, right? Female leader, very strong willed, and gives off like the um sort of like that 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 touch of masculine kind of woman, right? You know, it's like those uh, tough chicks, right? Um, kind of like a step up from the tomboys, right? Some stuff like that. I like that sort of trope. Um, I mean, any comments on these, on like these designs so far, or we go up here. Clean. Very clean. Yeah. I just, um, I want to say two of them look like they're from the same faction and then the one in the middle is just, mm -hmm. oh, you mean, uh, Mo yeah, Mo Moza Moza's a pretty mysterious, so definitely yeah. Um, Ling Sha, I forget what like commission she's from, but like yeah, kind of the same faction, if you will, for Fei Xiao. Kind of, they're all kind of like interconnected, but um, they have like their own little sections and divisions, and, and, and you know, it's like a big ass army, if you will, because there's like six ge six generals or seven generals or something like that. Um, I forget the exact number, you know. Um, she's one of them for sure. Um, but yeah, you're you're kind of like on the nose there when when it comes to these two. They're kind of in the same umbrella, if you will, but different branches, right? Same tree, different branches. Um, but yeah. And then yeah, these these are the light cones. Basically, that's like the weapon slash uh, W engines. Um, so okay, so this is this is where it gets fucked up, right? So this is her banner. Okay, looks normal. Yeah. But then right. you come down to here. W like, what the hell? So 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 she's coming back, or she's coming. She's debuting. But these three, yeah. but these three are coming back. It's like. What the hell? So this is like double. The, this is the double the amount of characters that we're, we're gonna pull or try to pull. Like, so you're telling me that, like, not only um, people want to pull for her, but there's potential of like wanting to pull for, um, you know, Kafka, Black Swan, and Robin. Like, Jesus Christ, right? That's kind of fucked up because Robin plays along with the uh, follow-up attacks. She's a support unit, very, very powerful um, in the gameplay right now. Face Shao is also going to be um, part of like the follow up attack sort of uh, circle. Although she, yes, she, she does only attack single target units, but she's going to be 
insane from what I've been hearing. She's going to be carrying the uh, the hunt class essentially, or single target uh, units, pretty much. And Robin is um, essentially a good unit to buff her, right, along with other follow up units that already exist. And then yeah, and then all those banners, right, are going to have the same four star units. So including Moza, so that's good. Um, I don't mind pulling Moza. That's uh, Asta, and that is Luca. So, um, they kind of fell off over time. Luca was kind of like whatever, unless you're like a dot unit, um, connoisseur, I guess. And then Asta was kind of like a good unit in the beginning of things, but then she's kind of like whatever at this point. You could use her, but it's like mm, right, four star unit. Um, but then I mean she's not the worst or anything. She, you could use her still. It's just, there are plenty of other units that do the job as well or fast. There's Ling Shou's banner, um, so that's her and then her wep her quote unquote weapon, and then you <laughs> and on top of that she, uh, you have Topaz, which Topaz is another unit who, funny enough, is yes Hunt, but she is a support unit uh, for follow-up units. So you have all this follow-up fucking mania going on and then you have this, her, right, she plays along the breaking uh, meta, right, the super break meta. She is following up the, um, the follow-up meta, if you will. Uh, all these four-star units are old, they're not think nothing new. Um, except for the light cone right here with Moza right here, probably the only thing that could get people to try to pull, right? Because that's Moza, uh, Moza's kind of, uh, not a signature light cone, but, you know, it's got his face on it, so obviously it might correlate something to him in terms of effects. Uh, okay, so there are updates to the gameplay stuff, like, uh, yeah, you get a thousand free gems, woohoo. Um, 10 fuel, which basically, you know, it's kind of like the same with... Uh, Zenless, it's like just extra um, stamina for you to play more modes, yeah. And then that's just um, extra material to help you level up your character. Um, free temple, okay, pretty standard. Uh, this is a new event that's uh, themed around uh, arena fighting. So there's going to be some sort of tournament. Uh, it's going to be like a side story, I think. Um, you get all these free stuff, including... A free pet companion, so that's kind of kind of cute. Uh, another event update to uh, end game stuff. Um, this is basically like double uh, relics or double artifact pieces or double armor pieces, uh, and then yeah, double rewards. Uh, these are going to be new, uh, yeah, new materials. For um, Face Shao and other people, right? The new new characters. Uh, these are these are new um, artifact pieces, basically, kind of like um, mm. this uh, drive discs in uh, um, Zenless, basically. It's just an update, and yeah, so that's it. That's it on that. But uh, uh, I I thought I would really mention this part because this is this is so fucked up. Because you're pulling for four characters at the same time, pretty much. Like, you have to really pick and choose. Like, do I pick Fei Xiao or pick these other units? Because, I mean, I guess you could, you could eliminate these two because um, they're both really good for dots, for dotting. But dotting right now hasn't been like, eh, right? It's not the meta. I mean, you could do, you could do dots and still get through the game in a way, but... Um, nowadays it's supposed to be like follow up. The uh, the meta is follow up attacks and um, super break or breaking uh your enemy. That is uh the other meta as well. Unless you're using units like um Akron, because Akron is like like god tier. She's she's stupid broken. She's so good, and she um thirsts. For uh, for dots because they're considered debuffs in the game, and uh, any any unit that has like debuffs on them, she does more damage to them, especially once her uh, her ultimate is um, queued up. 
So, if you have Acheron, yeah, you could go for Black Swan. Kafka is kind of like, eh, it's just kind of extra at this point. But Robin, though, she's going to be very complimentary to Face Shout. So that's why this banner is like kind of fucked up, right? You have four units. Like, this is kind of like reminiscent of uh, like FGO, of how like they just drop all these banners, like, all right, here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you remember, you, you you know, right? You know what I'm talking about when it comes to FGO. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much like, I'm going to save up for this one damn unit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly. That's, that's what when Ho you say. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. That's what, that's what exactly what Hoyle is doing. So the fact that they're only giving you a free temple is kind of like ass to me. Um, if I want to be real, it's like, hmm. See, I can understand for like. They're, they're Mm -hmm. yeah, they're pretty much saying, good luck, help me out yet, kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, if they did it for each character, that would be understandable, right? Like, so you have like four, uh, free 40 poles overall, which makes sense because, like, yeah, like you have four banners at once, right? And hey, if you want to use that all that for one banner, that's your choice, right? But they're only giving you, giving you, what a thousand gems and then uh the 10 free pulls so that's like barely 20 pulls right you know so that's kind of a uh, kind of kind of sh kind of shitty if you think about it itty mm -hmm. <laughs> shitty <laughs> shitty shitty of the wolves <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, mm. <laughs> yeah, it's like mm. right yeah because this is the only thing we're getting for free stuff it's a free free temple not a temple for each you know banner because you would think you you would think so right because that's, they do this every uh every um every major patch not every every patch but every major patch so it basically means um uh every other patch if you will because every because um the major patches come uh kind of like a, a not bi-weekly but or by by patch basis if you will it's like yeah every other patch for these uh fr free temples but come on man you, you gotta you gotta give it a little more than that if you're gonna have that many banners out so this whole patch 2.5 is definitely the most expensive one in terms of for players they're, they're gonna make, make they're gonna make some hard ass choices especially if you're a newer player for star rail it's gonna be very tough for me i'm gonna put my my marbles into this all my eggs into that basket because i want face out and her uh her light cone and if i have to dip into the, the wallet i i may i, I may because I like her that much. So. Although fucked up because I really wanted Robin as well. So. I don't know. And then I also want her because she. Um, would complement one of my other units. That I really like which is Firefly. Because Firefly is like. The queen of, of uh, super, super breaking. So Ling Shell will definitely help with that. For sure. And on top of that she heals. So yeah. Yeah. You know, dodgy games. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Pretty much how it goes. Uh, okay, so I believe that's it for the Hoyo, uh, Hoyo stuff. Now, now we can definitely talk about uh, this, which we've been kind of like noticing a trend, right? With like things failing and disappointing and such. And the most recent one is Concord, right? Remember we talked about that game? It's supposed to be like kind of like the hero shooter that's for some reason costing 40 bucks. Even though it's supposed to be sort of like a free to or not free to play, uh live service, right? Yep. Yeah. Only had only reached a peak of six hundred and ninety-seven. Not even not, right under seven hundred, man. And that's sad. That is so sad, right? For Concord. Like nobody wants to play this game, is pretty much, you know. On top of that, we had Acolyte, right? That just got canceled 
uh, after one season, and then more lands, right? The movie that is one of the most disastrous uh, box offices ever, especially for a video game movie. Yep, and then I didn't even know about this game. Um, apparently, there's a game called Dustborn, and only 83 players are playing it right now. So, or it only reached the peak of 83 players. I have no idea what this game is all about. You know, um, speculate what you will, but a number of these games are kind of like falling into the, uh, you know, the, 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 the diversity thing and the quote unquote woke trend, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one, this one just sucked, right? From what I've heard, you know, not even about the diversity stuff, but yeah. But these three, you can kind of say, yeah, you know, they tried to be diverse, quote unquote. But yeah. But yeah, when you look at Concord, though, the budget, at most $200 million. Like, Jesus, right? Borlands. At most, uh, 120 million dollars. I think it's more than that because um, they put a lot of money into the the uh, the marketing. So I thought it would be like 145 million. And acolytes almost to uh 200 million. And then um, I guess Dustborn is a European game because they got a lot of a lot of money from Euro government grant money, so they got millions worth millions of dollars worth in euros i guess and they got grants <laughs> which i uh i didn't know that, that was a thing for video games but i thought grants are like for like schools <laughs> yeah. that's what i think of when it comes to grants i mean it, have you been hearing about the whole concord thing on uh on your end I heard that. Well, from what I read, it was like, you know, when they first announced it, some people were just like, pretty much going like, why it was because it came right after the announcement of um, Marvel Rivals, which mm -hmm. looked better, way better, and, yeah, for sure. And it's like, I don't know. They tried the Concord. It's like, hey, we're gonna kind of make our our characters like guardians of the galaxies like yeah we already have that game it's called guardians of the galaxy <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think this game just severely lacks style right like it just kind of like looks pretty plain jane and uh tries to be uh diverse with right because you have a character that's like plus plus size and then you have like i don't know female characters a bunch right but um i mean when you look at it as a whole mm -hmm. the one in the ski mask looks like she looking straight out of fortnite mm -hmm. right um the one in the middle with the fire she looks like either she's a, a magic the gathering mm -hmm. card mm -hmm. or she came from like a fucking fucking um dragons you know fantasy game yeah yeah like dungeons, dungeons and dragons that's that's some type of stuff i think yeah that's that's also the issue there's no like direction you kind of just like when you look at these characters you have no idea where they're from or what's this game about like and then i think this guy is supposed to be star child or something it's very strange like i don't know and also and speaking of fortnite the freaking background almost looks like fortnite's background kind of yeah and shit. Mm -hmm. kind of yeah mm. Trying to trying to like play so, into the whole like gotcha slash life service aspect like yeah yeah so so in a sense this game does not have an identity mm -hmm. that that is definitely I feel like one of the issues too like the style is just not concrete you know um let me see characters I'm trying to see like a there's like a big lineup about where it was or what image it was um. Let me see, hold on. Character designs, is that it? 
No. Um, list? No, but. Lineup? I guess we can kind of try to do it from here because that's the closest thing. Yeah, like when you kind of like look at this, it's just like, I don't know. There's nothing concrete about what's going on here, you know? This feels like sort of all over the place. Nothing that none of these characters kind of like stick out or scream like, you know, something like also uh, like even if okay okay so even if let's let's just say these designs have nothing they have nothing wrong with them right yeah the way they go about their game is also very um very vanilla right because if yeah. you go to and you know I want to credit um Kenny for doing uh, for saying so as well. When you look at something like Marvel Rivals, right? Um, let me see. Was it in? Was it in this trailer? There was something about. Um, let me see. I think it was just. Uh, I think it was just just in the uh, the costumes or something. Um, characters. Character skins, ability showcase, character all the character skins. There you go. Okay, showcase. Um. Oh my god, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> you have Jeff. Okay. Uh, mm hmm. I mean, just looking at these. Look at these characters alone, though. Right. Look at how the graphics are. Look at how the art direction is, right? Because it looks, it just looks cool, right? Obviously, there is that bias of yes, these are Marvel characters. These are already established, right? But even then, yeah, like when you look at look at like like Hulk and the way like, you know, the way like the lighting goes and. You know, and then you have like you have this skin for Hulk. Jesus Christ, look at that wood, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And then you have, yeah, you have the the um, what was it? Plan uh, war, World War Hulk, was it? Yeah, yep, got this skin, got Punisher, right. And you got look, and then you got someone like Storm, right? Like, look at this, right? Like, it's like, um, like Kenny said, like it's sexy, but not like over the top. Like when it comes to the fan service, not super like etchy kind of thing. Um, very, very stylized in all the right places. Loki, right? Loki looks Loki looks pretty cool, even though I'm not that much of a Loki fan, but I will admit. Like, mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at this. Right? Doctor Strange. You know? Uh yeah, Rocket Raccoon. Right? Mm -hmm. Damn, like look at that. You know? And look at the skin off uh, off to the side too. It looks really sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, steampunkish. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Mm hmm. So this the the point. I think the point here is that this this screams style, stylish, very very stylish. Whereas this is just just like this is just like okay, we're just trying to be realistic. There's nothing like dazzling about these characters nor their like animations no like um victory screens that scream like like look at us right um yep. that is also the issue you know along with the gameplay and everything else 
you know? Um, yeah, intros. Look at, look at these intros, right? You know, that already... Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> um, take a look at Venoms. Why not? Okay, that's not Venom, but okay. <laughs> it says Venom intro. I don't know why it says Venom intro when it's just Spider-Man. I don't know. When I looked at when Spider-Man was playing, I was like, um... You okay there, sir? <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm, that's true. Oh, there, there's Venom. Okay, okay. It's right after Jeff. Look at that, right? Like, damn. That's just Venom. Wood. <laughs> Wood. And then... Pound me, Dad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's Loki. He's like, Jesus, right? And then... Where where was Spider Man? Um, uh, with the uh, with that one skin that because that one looks really cool. Um, let me see MVP. Well, let's take a look at the Venom MVP stuff. Hold on, after Jeff. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. All right. I mean, again, like very stylish over Concord characters. Yeah, I think it's just the art direction is just so lacking in Concord, whereas Marvel is like so like like wow, right? Um, God, where was it? Where was that Spider-Man intro or the, um, the MVP thing? Oh, there, there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh wow, look at these other skins. Jesus, right? Okay. Let's let these play out. Yeah, look at that. Jesus, man. Alright, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man coming up. Look at, like... Look at the background. The effects around him. Right? And then Spider-Man himself. Like, Jesus Christ. This is so much color done in the right way. And it's still super stylish and it's still, like, pal palatable. Again, whereas stuff like this is it's just boring. It's plain. And what are you? And what are you? Yeah. You know? What, 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 you know? It feels like none of these characters kind of, like, connect in a way. And I'm not saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, all characters should look the same, but at least with Marvel, you know it's Marvel. And then, like, when you look at the animations and stuff like that, and then look, and of course the gameplay stuff, that of itself is uh, looks pretty fun, satisfying. Whereas like this, I heard like this, like felt slow, you know. Obviously with the tanks, but even then, like overall game feels slow. Just mm, you know, not all that great. Otherwise, the gameplay of itself is very like vanilla like okay it's, it works okay there's nothing objectively wrong with it but just also there's just nothing that screams i'm 40 dollars and i'm a live service game you know and buy me yeah especially when you have this whole sea of like live service games like we're playing right now like we're, we're, we're both playing zenless zone you know zawa's still playing you know Fig Grand Order, and he's playing Fortnite. Like, <laughs> god damn it. Um, I'm playing. Like, oh, how do you know? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm pl I'm playing Genshin. I'm playing um, Star Rail. We just talked about that, which that episode has style and um, Zenless as well. And you know, I played Apex here and there a little bit, but you know, and then uh, at one point I did play, um, yeah, Poxy. Um, at one point, I did play a, a shit ton of uh, Fortnite, right? And um, there, and you know, I feel like there's always a place for me to come back to Fortnite, you know, especially with all the collabs and stuff like that. 
you know. The point is, though, is that there's so much wrong with it um, around the game. I, the game of itself is like, okay, it's very mid or just like, it's very basic as a shooter, you know. As a with, shooter. Mm -hmm. Which would be, from just looking at all these characters, it should have been like a, um, you know, an RPG. An RPG, you know, mm -hmm. a fucking role playing game. It should be like something along the lines like a. Uh, fuck. What was that game? It was from the. Um, or not original, but past developers of the Fallout series, and they made their own. Oh, Out of Wild Wilds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of Wilds. Like, this, this looks like it. Like, it should not have been a um, team shooter game. It should have been like a. You know, your ragtag group mm -hmm. doing fucking the RPG shooter. Shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Or fuck yeah. As I, as I brought it up with um, Fallout and stuff, can make it like another. Um, oh, I just had it on the tip of my. Not Guardians of the Galaxy, but um, uh, Mass Effect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I, I think the issue also is that Sony was like trying to double down on the whole live service thing. They're like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna make twelve live service games over the year over the uh uh by twenty twenty five or something. I'm like, what the fuck? Twelve? And they didn't they didn't even like scratch that. Like they only like put out like what two or something, like um, and this is one of them, right? And it is not doing well. Not at all. I mean, yeah, and it's like also the um ho ho. Like, didn't like the new CEO or president of Sony or whatever? Well, no, that was Square, Square Enix. Never mind. Mm, okay. I, I mean, was like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like, mm. so, yeah, I don't know who's your PR about this, but uh, I think it's time to you know. Bring them in and do do a small review, or you know, um, what's it called? Just go over like, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. What was the objective here? Right. Yeah, even like during the betas and like the testing and stuff like that, um, it was already like really low, so that was like already a a bad sign for things to come. And uh, yeah, yeah, I mean. None of these characters also don't really scream like um, something people want to become, right? Again, as Kenny would put it, like, you know, you kind of want to make characters that you sort of like, you know, you mess with. I'm going to be a little friendly about it or PC about it, but yeah, um, you know, you got the waifus and stuff like that, you know, but this is not that sort of material, unfortunately. You know. I think they went a little too conservative, but also I don't know, like there's definitely more wrong um than me CI. In in a way. There's more than me CI when it comes to like what went wrong with it, right? Um the price tag, the the gameplay that doesn't quite uh, justify it. The character designs, the art direction, the style, right? That's, you know. Like, yeah, maybe maybe you can have these characters work, but then you have to make things, other things, like, very interesting, very, very visually, like, memorable. And this is where this comes in, right? Like, the, the intros, the outros, the animations, the, you know, all that stuff. Like, you gotta... Be on top of that stuff, man, because that is important more ways than one. You want to have people be like, you know, I want to be that MVP or I want to, I want to be that guy, you know, that kind of mentality, right? Yep. I heard that this game also like uh, was too balanced. Like, there's no character that was like very powerful or like a, a no weapon that was like super powerful either. Um, nothing really stuck out, so everything was like kind of same old, like, um, which that I could, I, I guess, 
that of itself is a problem as well because there's no like meta there's no really like meta to chase for so all so all, all, all the less to sort of like you know level up and and grind in in this game and i even know i have no idea how their like skins and whatever stuff was which nobody's talking about so i imagine there was like very little skins to go off of um yeah there's just a lot of wrong with it on top of the fact that it is it was forty forty dollars so yeah and on top of that it took them eight years to make this game that's like the that's like the kicker right eight years down the drain uh as somebody put it um oops that's well that's for another story right now but yeah um projected uh projected to lose um 200 uh 200 million right and yeah, eight years of work down the drain. Yeah, so. Very, very um, disastrous for Sony right now. So yeah, the peak was under 700, just under 700. Um, it's like down to like 54 players, concurrent players during or as of like, you know, the screenshot or whatever right yeah 54 players right now that is like low dude i wonder what those 54 people are doing with their lives <laughs> and then um yeah it was just an expensive game to make it took them a long time i think the issue well eight eight years uh ago was what 2016 what was going on with 2016 in terms of live service um was Overwatch still like wait? Uh, was Overwatch still hot? Let's see when did when did Overwatch come out? Was that? Oh well, there you go. Right, twenty sixteen. That was when it came out. So yeah, I think what what happened was Sony was like, we gotta get on this, right? And then they um bought out some sort of studio. They're like, all right. I need you uh, to make a Overwatch game. So they took a long time, tried to copy Overwatch, kind of like the formula or whatever ish. But I think they kind of they kind of failed miserably because of like the character designs, the style, style plan it was, and yeah, the forty dollar price tag on top of that, blah blah. blah. Um, they 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 came in too late. I feel because. There's all the other live service games that come in, and um, there's this whole sort of stigma right now too. Like you know, people just don't want only live service live service games. They want just games, right? Uh, single player games, just regular ass games. You know, fighting games, FPSs, right? Um, there's just too many of them, and um, you know, you can only manage so much. We don't, we're only, you know. We're not rich. Not all of us are rich. We're not going to be able to just dump our money into all these like live service games. So you can only pick and choose. And um, that means you have to really make it make those live service games good, stand out, stylish, whatever. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was none of what uh, Concord was able was able what uh, Concord, Concord was able to accomplish, unfortunately. Marvel Rivals seems to be like the one that's checking off all those boxes right now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, it just can't be helped. It's Marvel, right? That's already like um, a good start. And then you have like these these effects. You got the style, right? The character designs are great, and the well, and the game kind of plays like uh, Overwatch. So there you go. Right, like old, like old, older um, Overwatch, and maybe even better. I don't know. I haven't played a game, so I can't say much yet. But I would like to. Looks fun. Looks cool. Concord, not so much. You know, you have to pay for it. There's already a big barrier right there. So there you go. Um, 
So that is a pretty much uh, sort of the concourse situation right now. So any other comments you wanted to throw in before we move on to the rest of it? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope Sony kind of wakes up and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna need to uh, dial back on the live service stuff, you know, for sure." And then I can only predict that 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 studio that worked on uh, Concord is gonna get shut down because that's a lot of time and resources down the drain. And I can only imagine um, Concord going free to play at some point. There's no way you're gonna survive. But I think even then, I, mean, I think the damage is already done. It's there's really nothing uh, one can do to fix it. Essentially, I think just people just don't like it. Just don't. You're gonna not play it. Doesn't look appealing. You know. I think the, uh, you know, it really furthers, like, the, uh, furthers the, um, drives the fact that, you know, the diversity, diversity stuff is annoying. Like, it's, it doesn't help video games in any way. Um, diversity alone will not, uh, bring audiences. I think it's just a noise, in fact, because, so like, sort of like those like quote unquote identity pi uh, politics is something we don't want to deal with because that's kind of more in reality and uh, video games is an escape right from reality. We want to feel powerful. We want to feel like you know, um, sexy and and um, handsome or you know like gods and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like. And so maybe oh, yeah, not. Mm -hmm. I do want to feel a god. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you want like 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 you want to be you want to be all powerful. You want to be all you want to be badass, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's another issue. None of these characters look badass either. Whereas, you know, Marvel Rivals, you got characters like Magneto, right? You got Iron Man. Yeah, Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. Right? Yeah, you, you got Thor. You got um, what's his name? Adam uh, Warlock. You got Venom, right? And you know what? We'll 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 throw in Jeff. Why not? Right? He's cute. You know. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> People want to feel cute as well, right? People like cute things. Look at that. We got Thor. You got Star Lord and Cap. Um, yeah, I mean, Penny Parker is essentially a diva, but yeah, you know, you get the point, you know. So on and so forth. You got Magic, Rocky Raccoon, right? People play characters to not be exactly like other people, right? Like you want you want to be like that. You want to have that the the fantastical power, and um, that whole diversity. What do you call it? like the DEI? What what the fuck the acronym is? Um, that's I don't I don't think it, that alone helps it, man. I think. Uh, Bringing too much reality into uh, video games is not helping. So, all right, I think that's enough of that. Um, speaking speaking of being powerful and handsome and strong and all that stuff, um, this is this, this is um the son of. Uh, renowned artist uh, Yusuke Murata. This is Kesuke Murata. Kesuke is a high school uh, student who happens to be a bodybuilder. And so uh, recently, I guess, he placed second in a high school bodybuilding competition of sorts and he, uh, some sort of like championship. 
and I'm sorry. Uh, mm-hmm. You saying that he's high school is like Jesus Christ. He is a JoJo character. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? Mm-hmm. How old are you, son? You look like you're in the thirties. I'm si- I'm only fourteen. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Even even um he has uh he has, he has his own like Twitter account and he's saying like I'm I'm uh, I'm happy that that many people saw it. Thank you for tweeting about me. So that's pretty cool, right? He actually like is aware of people getting a uh starting to be aware of KSK. Like, look at him, man. Strong, muscular, he's got a good, good, uh, good figure, all that stuff, right? Good figure. It, and it looks healthy, not like yeah. other not, bodybuilders that not you, too- you know is like, mm-hmm. huh, oh, you had help, didn't you? Yeah, like the, the you know, the, you know, they're, they hit that they they hit that needle, right? You know what I mean. But yeah, this is supposed to be. Um, they got the juice. They got the yeah. They got the the stuff, right? The the hard stuff. But anyways, this is supposed to be um his routine when he was up. He's also, a, yeah, for a guy with you know a good frame, he's flexible as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not over like ridiculous, ridiculously muscular, so he has like a good shape. Yeah, he's not a, he's not top heavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got good legs, you know. He got the back, Jesus. Yeah, nice form. Mm-hmm. This is this is the body that Hawk wants to have. Right, right. No, <laughs> this is what people strive for, right? But they take the easy way out. Mm-hmm. they try to take the easy sad, way right sad to say it mm-hmm. yeah so people do like surgeries and um, steroids and all that shit oh yeah or um what's it? cosmetic yeah like cosmetic shit. surgery they just put like fucking oil like they essentially put oil in their biceps and she's like oh yeah look at my arms <laughs> it's yeah, it's like oh look at my arm then you wiggle it it does like yeah on un- on un- um Unhuman, like fucking mm, movements. And yeah, like, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, and then next thing you know, they die because of that shit's poisonous, <laughs> like dangerous, man. It's poison. And it also it pops too. Mm-hmm. It? Oh yeah, it's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. But yeah, that's what video games are, man. You you become what you you become what you want to become, right? It's an escape, and that's why gacha games do that too. Do do that too. You know, they got all the waifus, I, I, all the those bandos, you got the archons, got the gods. Become, yeah. Become what I want to become. Mm-hmm. Looks like King Hassan. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, sure. No, people. I'll be an old pe- skeleton, man. People want to feel badass. That's the whole point, right? Nowhere games like Concord make, I, I imagine, did not make, make them feel badass at all because one the game is too balanced two you know you pay forty dollars for it three the game is kind of mid so <laughs> and then four the character designs too it's like meh you know it's not doing enough right and funny right like he's he used the the one the one punch man theme as he's he was doing his routine so you know he he really embraces like his his dad's work as One Punch Man or Eye Shield, right? You know, whatever it is. So that's the that's the uh, thing people strive for, right? To have that sort of body or you know that aura, the the vibe, right? You know. And look at him; he's like happy. He's he's into it, man. <laughs> He's into it. He's into it. Yeah, he's basically real life Saitama. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, man. People people strive to be Saitama. That's why that's why people love One Punch Man because he's just so he is ridiculously powerful to the point where he's just lethargic about it. He's like, eh, there's no bad guy who who, who can match me, right? Now, unless you read into further of One Punch Man, eh, you know, something happens, but you know, but 
the whole point of One Punch Man is that he is so powerful that he's like, eh, you know? <laughs> That's kind of like the opposite of uh, Concord. All right. Uh, but yeah, but before we go further, um, let's go play this sound. That's another character that people will kind of want to be, right? People want to be like Godzilla, be all, be all mighty and shit, right? Be a kaiju like. <clears throat> um, you know that's why like you, you got like kids, you got kids, pretend to be Godzilla, right? You know, pretending to have that fire breath or the atomic breath. I I did I I, I pretended the shit out of uh, shit out of you know being Godzilla when I was a kid. And then all the adults around you be like, the fuck? Stop staring. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah and the, the, the parents are like, yeah, all right, all right. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yep. It's kind of embarrassing for the parents, but kids, man. They got like, all the. Why are you like this outside? Mm -hmm. <laughs> outside of the house. Mm hmm. That's why that's you know kids got that imagination stuff, man. They want to be, they want to, they want to be a lot of things, right? Uh, okay. So separate thing. Meanwhile, CD Projekt said in the past that Cyberpunk Edge Runners will not continue after his first season, right? That's nothing new. But they said recently that the developer uh, is definitely planning for more animation projects set within the cyberpunk 2077 uh, universe so um yeah kind of like carrying kind of like the uh sort of the vibes of edge runners or you know uh hopefully more tr stuff from trigger that would be great i'm all for it because uh edge runners was a really good short anime for what it was you know people wish for more but um it was to the point where people came back to cyberpunk the game and it uh, brought up the numbers again, and pretty much carried it until, uh, all the way to uh, two point oh, and then people wanted to play two point oh. So yeah, like their attention was like um, aimed at uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, and long enough to have two point oh come out, and two point oh was pretty good for what it was. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm all for it, you know. Um, it, you know, even uh, in fact, we have to remember that Guilty Gear Strive is featuring Lucy, this character right here, as a guest character, right? So it kind of goes to show how much uh, popularity it has right now, right? Still. And again, personally for me, I think David right here deserved that spot because he has more interesting shit going on. Whereas Lucy is kind of just like whips, she hacks. Okay. You know, oh, she's she's a, she's a waifu. Okay, you know, yeah. But anyway, um, that's that for right now. I mean, I'm all for it. Hopefully, we see more animation stuff. So pretty cool. All right, if you have any more, if you don't have any more comments on that, uh, move on to the next thing. Yeah, on to the next thing. Okay, so there's more more back on to the Robbie. Robert Downey Jr. stuff, so it was revealed, uh, according to Marvel Source anyway, that Robert Downey Jr. was paid $95 million to uh, return to the MCU as Doctor Doom for Avengers Doomsday. So, um... <laughs> so, yep. 95 million big ones, man. You know, how, how how can how can one not or how can one turn down that money, right? Just to turn down that money and also, I guess people say like, oh, he doesn't deserve it. It's like okay, and you know, and then people try bring in the race things like. Mm -hmm. Like, do Victor Von Doom supposed to be Liberian, which is like, you know, Eastern European, and then mm. it's like, okay, name name five, and it's like, oh wow, 
you guys went quiet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But to me, it's like they they're giving the ninety five million because they know, or Disney knows that it is. He's he's not the he's a guarantee. There you go. Mm-hmm. The he's a guarantee like ticket seller. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. So it's just kind of like maybe making a, another new circle because it was Robert that started it. Mm-hmm. And then it was Robert that ended it. And now he's starting it again. Yeah, he, that's essentially uh I believe what I said. Um he's kinda like he's kinda like the 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 MCU Jesus, right? He comes you know, he he began he began it, he ended it, and then now you you have the the you know the the revival of Jesus, right? So you know, coming in, you know, Robert Downey Jr. coming coming in back to revive the MCU once again, to um, you know, starting a whole new saga essentially, pretty much or phase, right? He he is that face. He is that guy that. Started it all pretty much for um, the MCU as Iron Man, you know. I I love that. I love that movie. I still I think is like one of my top. I said uh, personally for me, I love that Iron Man, Iron Man movie. There's something about it that just I don't know. Like even though maybe to some people uh, it seems outdated at this point. There's there's like a lot of moments for me that really like did it. You know, it's just hard to explain. But it's just something kind of magical about Iron Man being like that first, right? This is this, that movie was like, um, like they, they they put those eggs in that basket kind of thing, right? And um, it worked. Yeah, they were they were doing a hail hail Mary. Mm-hmm, a like hail Mary. Robert was already out of his um, oh, what's it called? Um, rehab, you know, mm-hmm. alcoholism. So. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Robert was like a mess before the MCU. Yes. Yes. And I'm not saying it to be like an asshole. He was a fucking mess. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think a lot of us know that and uh, cannot so, deny that. So so those those who don't know that, yeah, Robert was a heavy al- alcoholic. And mm-hmm. to play a well, Tony Stark, who's also an alcoholic, a yeah. heavy alcoholic, mm-hmm. was like... It works. Like, yeah. Like, ooh. Yeah, we 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 uh we we stepping on literal eggshells here. Mm-hmm. Yes, and yeah, man, he he became the face of um Tony Stark. You know, he is Tony Stark essentially. He made he made it to his like image, right? You know, no one can ever ever like shake off uh R D J like he. He is Tony Stark. He is, you know, Antonio. <laughs> no, he, he is. Um, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. And it's the same thing like um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking people were theory crafting that he should be Doctor Strange. And then lo and behold, he's fucking Doctor Strange. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah, Chris Evans being Cap, you know, that could be debatable, but, you know, I think I think he's he's a good face for for Captain America, right? Um, no, Chris Evans will forever be Johnny Storm. Fair, <laughs> it's fair. To which again, people, if you look back of him looking at Johnny Storm and then him as a mm-hmm. as a yeah. Steve Rogers, yeah, Steve Rogers, yeah. Holy shit, that man was. F- freaking skinny as fuck Mm -hmm. like he did have muscle mass but it was like but you had to do this like Mm -hmm. oh it's a big jump yeah you know when he became steve rogers yeah it's a huge jump (laughs) and then you know you definitely saw that when uh what was the age of ultron right um yeah cab was like doing he was like what do you call he was like chopping the, the wood and he just rips, yep. he like rips one of them just with his arms. <laughs> you see his arms, man? Shit, man. You see these snakes? It's like, yeah. it, yes. Can can you rip me apart like those, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like those, um, like those woods? <laughs> God damn it. Like, 
That's so. where, like, you know, the screaming is all stop being thirsty. It's like, mm. I'm thirsty. Yes. I'm, just, I'm just saying what everyone is saying on their minds. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there, there are people who want to be like Steve Rogers, and there are people who want to be that piece of wood that he ripped apart with his own arms. That's how, that's, hey, that's life. <laughs> people want to be Steve Rogers, people want to be in Steve Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> or, well, well, I mean, or have Steve Rogers, Steve Rogers in them, but, you know. Oh yeah, they want to. They want a little piece of Steve Rogers in them. <laughs> Do I want Steve Rogers in me? No. <laughs> oh man, that's that's life though. It's funny, but that's that's life, man. That is life. So, kind of how it goes. That Whether is life, and uh, and certain characters and whatnot. They they. They unlock things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they, they bring out the freaks. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do indeed. Alright. Um, this is more on the live-action One Piece. So, I guess it's confirmed that there's going to be a Bartomello of sorts for um, second season. Played by, apparently, uh, Nahum Hughes. Hughes. Uh, I guess he, like, somehow publicly announced somewhere like on Instagram or something. I forget what it was that he is going to play Bartomello. Is he in trouble? I don't know, but yeah, it happened, I guess. Um, but we also got to remember mm -hmm. like, this is way kind of before, you know, Barty was fan fanboying like super hardcore. Mm -hmm. like, he knew of them. Yes. But he wasn't. It was like more of like, eh. right. He knew them, but yeah. Um, and then whenever, uh, when you know, during uh, Luffy's like you know moment, right? Remember he smiled uh, uh, right before yeah. death. He was yeah. touched. He was you know inspired. He's like, whoa, Luffy's like awesome. And so uh, he became his fan, like his number one fan, dedicated fan, and chased him ever since. He, this this is an example, right? The, he he wants to be like Luffy, right? You know, Luffy is is the is the guy that a lot of people want to be like, and Bartomello is a reflection of that. You know, again, that's how uh, live service games kind of work, right? Gotcha games, all that stuff. You know. Um. Oh yeah, good question, right? Who's playing? Alvita, you know, like when she's all slimmed down and everything, if that's going to happen, if they're going to change the actress or it's going to just. I don't know, right? Like, hmm. yeah, because also at the end of season one, we saw Alvita and Buggy in the uh, tavern. Oh, yes. Yes. So is she going to eat the fruit or I, I don't know, right? You know? And funny, right? When she, um, when Alvita ate the fruit, um, and then she showed up, right, in the in this in the what you call it, in Logtown. When she walked by, she, she or she when she walked through the scene, she, um, you saw the men were like, "Oh my gosh, she's so she's so beautiful," whatever, right? They got the heart in their eyes and everything, and then she had the women even falling in love with her because they want they they were either well in love with her or want to be like her. Right, again, right. Yep. Alvita became that that figure, right? Um. So yeah. Anyway, that is a good question, though. If uh, are they gonna follow that up too? Like with Alvita, um, does she eat the uh, what do you call the the uh, slip slip fruit or whatever? What do we call it? Sube sube. Um. Who knows, right? Since Bar they're going as far as Bartomello showing up at the execution, seemingly, right? Um, that is a good question. Oh, that's right. Yeah, who's gonna be Dragon? Right? Who's playing Dragon? They have not uh, talked about that yet. Samuel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
hey, get this motherfucker off of that fucking motherfucking <laughs> 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 yeah. execution block. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it would kind of make sense, actually, if it was, um, what's his face? Um, uh, the guy who's narrating the well, I action one piece was it uh ian uh was it sir ian um something he's in john wick hold on Dude, let me see um ian mcshane mcshane yes what if what if mcshane is dragon right that'd be I mean, he did play um, Odin or uh, Wednesday in um, oh fuck, God. American Gods. Mm -hmm. So he has that demeanor of being like, "Yeah, I'm an asshole." <laughs> mm -hmm. So random it was Mc fucking Ian McShane narrating One Piece, dude. That was that's kind of wild. Yeah, if he like shaved up or something, like change, um, you know, just change up his hair a little bit and. Right, he can cut, he can definitely pass as dragon. I feel kind of passes a um, being um, live action Luffy's dad because we don't know who the mom oh, looks like. You... Yeah, sorry. You know, because every time when you say dragon, it's like you make sure there's dragon nos <laughs> <laughs> dragon off. <-off>, yeah, <laughs> or live action. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Who is this man? Or who is it? Yeah, right. Oh, that's a that's an interesting bottle. <laughs> that's an interesting bottle. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What else is beautiful? Funny because we brought up um, John Wick, right? Gotta gotta bring in the um, the trailer for Sonic because we finally got that. I almost actually, I almost honestly forgot to put in the dog, but I just kind of like just remember because of the counter Reeves. But yeah, dude. Phoenix. He finally came, yeah, the, um, Sonic, the Sonic 3 movie trailer finally came out. And yeah, Shadow is uh, voiced by Keanu Reeves, so... Sonic, you finally found your family. Mm hmm Try to keep up. I know it hasn't always been easy, but you didn't change who you are in here. Yeah, in my lungs. Or your heart. In my lungs. Like, Jesus Christ, you're do, you, do you remember that actor, by the way? <laughs> Uh, who's, you know, this guy? Like, he he looks familiar, but, like, I know he, I've seen him in other movies and shit. Yeah, he, he played, um, Cyclops. And, um, yeah. yeah. Yep. He played Cyclops. Much better here than Cyclops. <laughs> yeah. How dare he say mm -hmm. yellow spandex. <laughs> right. like it was not a thing. Mm -hmm. So, fuck you, sir. Mm-hmm. There he is, a shadow. Can't wait to see my the artists that I follow flood my timeline of you know things to come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I want to see that hallway scene. I'm gonna fucking hoot and holler. <laughs> God damn! And the people next to me, next to me, who has no idea of Sonic lore, I'm like, what? He's like, why are you cheering? <laughs> God damn. Because, like, cause like, they did it. <laughs> they kept to the lore. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of the key things, right? Maria and Shadow. So hopefully they get this scene right. Because, yeah, this, it's a pretty serious thing. Right? I, I don't know how they'll get it wrong. Mm -hmm. That's my... That's, that should be, like, the main issue. It's like, how are they going to get this, this, you know, sad scene wrong? Mm hmm because you know it, it's a very impactful moment, and mm -hmm. it's also a character-driven thing for mm -hmm. for Shadow. Yes, yes. 
Shadow is Shadow because of what happens to Maria. So yeah. it became the... And the promise that, mm -hmm. that he made to her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, no, the promise that he made to the dad. Yeah, yeah kind of, yeah. But, but yeah. Um, it, it's A large part of it is for Maria, though. Yeah, right here, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know, but... It's a little different, but still, it's still like, you know, tells the it, tells tells the overall story. Yeah, it, it's, it, it'll, it'll tell the story, but mm -hmm. you, I, sorry, I'm gonna be demented. Mm -hmm. I want to know how we got there. Yeesh. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> Show no, me. I get Show it. Show me that you're not scared. I get it. I get it. You know. Yeah, that's supposed to be uh, Ger uh, Gerald Robonic, right? Uh, Dr. Eggman's grandfather. And uh, yeah, and also grandfather of Maria Robotnik. So yeah. Anyway, sorry. No, no, I'm just saying like, it's because, you know, Hollywood has that um, big ass role of um, um, child um, act actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to show them. Yeah, like the violence know. or some shit. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't know how uh, they're gonna pull it off, but I imagine they'll 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 get the job done. You know. Yeah. This here I do like. Um, before we go go on, because was it was it, what was that shot? Right. Huh. That's weird. Well, anyway, um, they kind of have like the the whole like Sonic Heroes thing going on because um yeah there you go. They're together, right? It's team. It's Team Sonic. This is Team Sonic right here. So that's pretty cool. I always knew Sonic was in the middle. <laughs> God damn it! Mm -hmm. Than the hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, I'm standing right here. <laughs> and? Dude, I'm standing oh, right here. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm standing right here. You're colorful, aren't you? We there you go. <laughs> Actually, Sonic, I would like to fight. No, no. My turn. I'm kind of sad that. That didn't, because a lot of people did the edit already of mm -hmm. you know Shadow having that fucking pissed off face. Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I want the, I want this in the movie. Like, yeah. sorry guys, <laughs> the, the, go back in, go back in to just have that one like one one to two seconds of Shadow just being ultra fucking pissed off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. That was from the comics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking also, I'm also mad that he doesn't have a fucking gun that he's cocking right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is this um him skating. But hold on. This is yeah. Th this I believe is supposed to be Space Colony Arc. Hopefully, because I definitely like uh says that yes, this is going to be Sonic Adventure Two. You know, follow the story pretty closely. So that would hopefully be the thing. Look at him, he's fucking skating, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. A lot of people are like, this is nightmare feel. Yeah, sure, depending on on, on the person. Mm -hmm. Some people will be like, come to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> I yep. will embrace you. People, people there are some people who are horny for shadow man. Yeah, they were thirsty. And I'm just going like, oh, bro. <laughs> <Terry Tone. laughs> Like, if you thought I was fucking thirsty for, like, fucking, like, Godzilla and shit, even I'm, like, bro. I mean, you're, you're, you're pretty unhinged when it comes to Venom, though. <laughs> yeah. But, but if, if I say, bro, calm, calm down, something's wrong. Uh, yes. So. And also, a lot of people, should I go back a bit? Hmm. So they're doing the the whole shot of um like 
Oh, keep going forward a bit. Oh, you mean, okay, hold on. Yeah, forward, 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 forward. Stop. Okay. So they're doing the whole, you know, like um, in Spider-Man, um, Far From Home. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, they're like, there was like some scenes that looked like, hey, something's supposed to be there. Yes. Yeah. So we're, we're on the side of, yeah. Knuckles, yep. Mm -hmm. Of Knuckles. It can't be Shadow. Yeah. So maybe it's, maybe it's Amy? Mm hmm Yeah. So some people are speculating this is going to be Amy right here. Because, yeah. Or, or you know. Rouge. Us. <laughs> well, I was gonna say yeah, it's yeah, a, a, a bat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who also people uh, are pointing for, but yes, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I I want it to be like not a big fuck you, but like <laughs> we we thought wrong. <laughs> what if it's just Bigs the cat just sitting there like hi? Mm hmm. I don't know why I'm here. I mean, I, get, I suppose yeah, it, it could be, right? Because this is big old space right here. So maybe, right? But yes, you're it's right, like though. Mm -hmm. or... I know it's not. It's it's not going to happen. Maybe it's Vec. Vector. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, ba my baby boy. Mm -hmm. Right. But but then everyone was like, then you need, you need his other two friends. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, you don't need them. <laughs> No one cares about the bee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the meme. <laughs> SVO is it's fucking like, cool name, though. Name, yeah, yeah SVO will be cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like name one thing you remember the fucking bee does. Mm -hmm. Um, well, exactly. <laughs> I'm annoying. That's what I can say. <laughs> uh, but yes, now yes, now that I look, you know, the more I look at it, yes, that seems to be a more probable theory that there's supposed to be someone right here because the way, yeah, the way it's shot, um, not quite centered, right, without this other character, right? Because look at look, this is a uh, this is Stone. This is supposed to be like Doctor Eggman's yeah. um assistant, right hand man, you know, he's like assistant, mm -hmm. right hand man, husband, <laughs> more like more like housemaid, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mistress right <laughs> no um he's right in the middle right he's like the center yeah. of the shot right so he's the divide and um something's not right something's off right something yeah. definitely is off so like the placement is off mm -hmm. or yeah. the the camera focus is off mm -hmm. yeah, and then the, uh yeah i mean this spot right here seems to be a little, 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 little sussy, right? Like it, it could be splat, like it's just like a little wet spot or something, like a little water puddle, or it could be a shadow of somebody, right? It could be Amy, it could be Rouge, somebody, possibly, because this looks off for sure right now, like as it, as of oh, right. Oh no, it's a, uh, it's the rooster. I forget the rooster's name from the. TV oh the cart. Oh the cart. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, yeah. He's like, oh god, <laughs> he's he's here. Mm -hmm. That would be weird, but yeah, yeah, because that's obviously that's Doctor Robotnik's creation or whatever. But yeah, eh, you know that'd be funny. But yeah, let's move on. Never. Right. <laughs> Sad robot neck, even for you. We need your help on one condition. Okay, so a lot of people have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been um, theorizing about this quill because um, in this universe, uh, like, even if like a quill falls off of uh, Sonic or Knuckles, right, it gives off a lot of energy. You know, a piece of them falls off, it's a very very powerful um source for like weapons or robots even so it's like a battery if you will kind of or power drive so a lot of people are theorizing because he took another one from sonic um at this point he may use that to build metal sonic at some point 
whether it be by the end or um, end the film, I don't know. Just theory for now. Yes. <laughs> I found some. When we're done, there won't be anything left. Hey, no cheat code. What did you do? What I had to. Oh, that line. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Went on to 4 chan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, yeah, and then, like, they, they showed the. I, I I fucking despise those things. The cherries? The what? The little uh them those things. They were at the amusement. It looks like an amusement park. There you go. Oh the chow, right the yeah, the chow. yeah the oh, chow. Oh you're right. Yeah, that's right. There oh you go. wow, I didn't even know. Friends. Wow, I didn't even notice <laughs> until now. That's funny. Wait, who? Oh, that's the that's the general. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So. That's oh wow. The general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. Right. The Chows are here as mascots. That's kind of strange, but all right. I wonder if the real Chow will ever make it into this universe, but whatever. Yep. Does the Akira slide? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yep. So that's supposed to be Gerald Robotnik, which, um, that's a big deviation because he's supposed to be dead at this point. He was shot. Either dead or he's imprisoned, yeah. Or like, some people are mm -hmm. fear crafting, it's um there's time travel involved. Mm -hmm. or, okay. Or yeah. Because you know, it's Gerald. He yeah. Probably made a time machine or you know, something. Like a yeah. Android some... of himself. Oh, like to Dr. Drew. Okay, like Dr. Drew. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. To just continue the, uh, you know, his experiments. Yeah, his work. Like underground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I can kind of get by that. Okay. But yeah, that's also Jim Carrey. <laughs> mm. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, Ger Gerald is here nonetheless in the, in the, the shaggy flesh. <laughs> um,. So it's a big deviation because, yeah, again, he's supposed to be dead for sure because um he was executed during that uh, recording that plays in Space Colony Arc, you know, telling the people uh, during, you know, it's like a worldwide broadcast saying like he wants to com um, um, have his revenge because Maria died, you know, and he wants to kill all of mankind <clears throat> because of that. So he deploys, um, uh, essentially bio lizard, right? He, bio lizard is supposed to be, um, the other ultimate life form in a way. And that's no, the ultimate life form is cell. That's the perfect life form. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's the ultimate before he, uh, you know, absorbed the androids. Mm, okay. that's that's still. very that's very debatable but all right yeah. <laughs> but anyway um so uh he's point being he's supposed to be dead but he's alive here so um i can imagine him just like okay you know they hug it out like um yeah they're like yay you know happy reunion but uh, in his mind um he wants to manipulate his grandson help him start you know, um, to essentially uh, start his revenge plan, right? His re re revenge mm -hmm. scheme by help me commit genocide, mm -hmm, my boy. Mm -hmm, my human genocide, yeah, essentially. 
and um and together we will rule the world with with the child <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah pretty kind of like that right pretty much um <laughs> it's still wild to me that jim carrey of all people is dr eggman and he's and he's still playing dr eggman because remember like he was he's supposed to be semi-retired he's like yeah i'm done unless there's something really interesting for me i won't take any any other roles right but he's still back as dr eggman so i guess he really likes being dr eggman for some reason you know so there's just something about that and then there's uh you know gerald <laughs> gerald robotnik as yep. well yeah interesting um also because yeah, his stuff his like costume is fucked up so something must have happened right and then Gerald comes in. So I was wondering what uh point exactly. Like is it in, is it like in the middle or something like that? Um Yeah. But yeah. Ira, hmm? Somewhere in, like in the comment section. I I think it was on a YouTube or Twitter. Mm -hmm. When Dr. Gerald showed up, they're like, is, doc is that Dr. Wiley? I was like, hey. Oh, oh hey, come hey, on. Hey, shut oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> wrong universe. Mm. Way wrong universe. Yeah. If these if these same people make Mega Man and then have the have the, the crossover movie with it, it makes sense because they had the comic book crossover with Mega Man and, and Sonic, so I, that would be pretty cool. To be real. Um, there was one other thing I did notice too. Let me see. Yeah, so you can definitely see. Oh, what the fuck? They went too far, but um, okay, not the Akira slide, but somewhere. What was it? It's. Let me see. I just had it too, but um. Okay, yeah, see. This part I did know I did realize that um hopefully this also confirms that this is space colony R cuz yeah. Um you kind of you can kind of see yeah, tails flying out and then you can kind of see like parts of it what it looks like, right? Because um space colony R like opens up. It's supposed to be like uh like the same shape as um uh the robotics like face right the robot the robotics's uh face and then they it fires a cannon blast of sorts like a laser big old laser and it just it can like blow up half a half a moon right it was just like i don't know some sort of like a lower low powered blast or something so i guess at full power i can destroy most of earth or fuck up earth pretty much for the most part but yeah, you can kind of see it open up, which means that should be Space Colony Arc, so it should be following the story for the most part, which should mean they'll have Super Shadow and Super Sonic for sure, and then hopefully the Live and Learn soundtrack, you know, pops right in there, man. Because the last two movies, the soundtrack is abysmal because they don't even, they hardly play the fucking uh, Sonic, Sonic soundtrack. That was like, that, that has been a consistent disappointment across the board. Everything else is fine. Uh, in, 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 in the, apart from like, you know, the human scene, some of the human scenes being uh, unnecessary. Um, that was also like a consistent thing that they didn't uh, quite get right, is the music. So hopefully they get the music right at this point. And uh, this being like, pretty serious right in comparison to the other two hopefully they can like focus on the movie on the F song adventure 2 stuff not some like extra human bullshit like somebody's wedding or something right because that's what happened in sonic 2 um so yeah hmm. yeah but yeah um another thing i want to say shadow looks so good man for for this um scope of um of this universe like he fits right into this universe like a glove um there are a lot of like cool shots of him like including here 
right? And then there's um, this one. And then, you know, him right here, like just, it's, it, I think it's just perfect, uh, pretty much. This is, this is shadow. This is shadow, right? And again, on top of that, fucking Keanu Reeves, I think, is nailing, um, nailing him very well. And there was some, somebody complaining about his voice, like, oh, like, oh, he's just using his regular voice. It's not voice acting. Uh, like, bro. Bro. Voice acting is not just like putting on a cartoony, like, like whatever voice, yeah. right? Voice acting is just acting with your voice. That's the whole point. You don't have to fucking put hence, on the. It's like it's like hence in in the yeah, job title voice acting. Yes, exactly. <gasps> what a what a revolution! <laughs> what a what a concept! Yeah, exactly. Right, right. Yeah, those, those people those people need to fucking get their fucking brain checked or something. But anyway, um, I, like. This is a case of like this works because this is within Keanu Reeves is um range whether whether you like him or don't like him as an actor this fits him that's why it works that's the whole point right this this was a very good casting I'd say for you know Hollywood stuff right in terms of Hollywood like if you're gonna pick a famous actor for something like this yeah I think they definitely made the right choice. Okay, and <laughs> yeah, I like the Euro Cove a bunch. <laughs> the only thing I'm like, ah, he should have. I mean, I wish they he said it like you know, you know, uh, chaos control. That's like his catchphrase, kind of. But they'll they'll probably save it for the the actual movie. So because we were, you you already know like it's it's Shadow. He's here, and he is he is bring he is bringing bringing the uh the edge right. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he is bringing that edge game into this uh this movie. Yep. Yeah. In a tasteful way. Everybody. In a taste. In a tasteful way. Yes. But yeah. Um. This part two. It won't be when we're done. It won't be. It will be done. Yeah. <laughs> it, won't be, it will be done. <laughs> yeah. There won't be anything left. Right. No what did you do? What I. Yep. And then, what did you do? Kill some people? <laughs> Why? They hurt my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's doing the slide. He's doing the thing. The Akira reference. I mean, come on, man. I can't help, it, right? Um. Yeah, they're already kind of like bringing in the uh, the Shadow the Hedgehog uh, elements. You know, if, you know the game Shadow the Hedgehog elements into here with the bike. So he has like yeah, a but again, where, where's where's his gun so he can mm -hmm. just Yeah, right stand above them and just cock it and just mm -hmm. give them angry face while looking at them. Like, it's always so funny because what he's holding is a freaking assault rifle and he's but he's cocking it like it's a shotgun. The, the thing like it's a shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this movie is gonna fix it. Yeah, <laughs> so he's gonna actually have a, a sh a sh actual shotgun. <laughs> No, it's gonna be a bazooka. And he he fucking like he reloads it like a regular handgun. And it's like oh my god! It's like that that doesn't make sense. I know it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um. The, the, the what do you call this this part right here? Yeah. Already getting like memed. The other one. Yeah. yeah. The other yeah, one, which I like one? The meme which one? Where it's the um, so when he turns the fist, instead of oh, it's the start of um, gangsters paradise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh, oh, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know, I know, what you're talking about. It's funny though because like people were already pointing out like, like they're they're like, well, why why is knuckles hurting? Like, is, is that's a correct way to you know like it's not it's not it's not a an unnatural position for the fist 
and you know i don't know maybe they just cut it or something they, they're gonna like have them do more than just that i don't know maybe they, maybe it's a censorship thing i don't know but um also after the twist right oh he does the kick from you know when vegeta kicks the shit out of cell kind of <laughs> um a lot of people were kind of like that's like their head cannon um what do you call this is cell kick their head cannon is um shadow watch dragon ball mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before the fight yeah yeah right here that's that's like i like the kick right there that it's possibly referencing but yeah my gripe though so far is that i i wish his kicks have more impact like have a little more oomph to them because it looks like he's just kind of pushing them yeah i don't know this just doesn't quite have enough punch to it uh there's another one i forget wait which part it was might have been right after. Oh yeah, right here, I think. He's too powerful. Oh yeah, and then this part right here. People think he's gonna die or something. I don't know. There's some there's, there's this whole like thread that he's gonna like die for some some fucking reason. I don't know why. They, well he has to die so he can um have his schedule cleared up so he can be uh <laughs> in a in, um, in the MCU, oh my god! In the MCU to come back as Cyclops. Oh my god! Or Secret Wars. God damn look, it! Look at the red. The red is highlighting his eyes. <laughs> He's coming back as Cyclops, everybody. <laughs> and then, and he will wear comic book accurate um, yellow spandex. Mm -hmm. Well, blue and yellow, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, god damn it, man. And then that is a the black hole. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people are saying that this black hole is actually chaos control. Uh, yeah, I mean, chaos control is all about time distortion. So yeah, that's technically a time distortion. So that's that's a powered up. Actually, that is sure a powered up state of chaos control, though, because yeah, it's, that is essentially a fucking black hole slash wormhole yeah and then yeah yes eggman is fat <laughs> it's kind of how it that's how it's supposed to be anyway i know i was like <laughs> if you were like why is that, why is jim carrey fat it's like yeah because the character is fat yeah yeah, oh! I mean, <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. That song, dude. Why that song for the trailer or whatever? For the first Sonic movie. And then, yes. There's Jim. Yep. <laughs> there is Dr. Eggman right there. Or Dr. Robotnik. Depending on where you come from. What era. Um, A lot of people are saying that, um, at the end of the trailer, mm -hmm. it's the same beats as um, Live and Learn. Uh, okay, I mean, you know. Okay, okay. He's kind of, kind, of, kind of a reach, but okay, maybe. I don't know. Someone already did like a... Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh. Huh. If it's an orchestral version of Live and Learn, okay, maybe I'll take it, but god damn it, man. They get it, it, they just have to just make a um a version exclusive for the movie, I feel. I don't know. Make it a little heavier, maybe well, heavier metal, I don't know. But Well, it's more of like we saw a teaser in like what the first or second movie of Robotnik's uh playlist, and it did have Yes. You know, it did have them, so I was like, where is it? Mm hmm Yeah. Alrighty, so that is pretty much the big gist of it. Yes, they're fighting in Tokyo, pretty much, so... 
Oh man, Shadow looks so good. That doesn't even like that line didn't even sound like you know concerned. Knuckles, no, it's, it was like, no, don't. <laughs> You see, it wasn't even like concerning. It was like well, it's not Knuckles, cons no. Well, it's, it's not concerning. It's more commanding. Like, no, like don't do this. Like this, yeah, this yeah. shadow's gonna fuck you up. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's like Knuckles, no. Tails, watch this idiot get his ass kicked. Mm -hmm. Ta da! <laughs> Yeah, and then, oh yeah, and then... But, God, I, God, I wish that was me getting choked. <laughs> God damn it. I was about to say. Um, this shot right here, people were like, that's impressive since uh, Sonic doesn't have a neck. <laughs> he's choking him. He's choking him, but he's, not, he's got no neck. He's grabbing him by, like, the lower jaw. Yeah, like the face. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, seems like it looks weird because it looks like he has a neck, but he's like no neck though. <laughs> yeah, it's just like how again Japan's getting there, getting its ass whooped. Mm -hmm. okay. You have giant kaiju's, and then now you have like three fucking furry characters running around. Mm -hmm. And you have the the one additional right? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely is Japan. So, so I want to know what is the insurance rate in Japan in this universe? <laughs> right. Yeah, you got kaiju running around. You got robots running around. Now you got furry, the furry anthros running around. Yeah. Also mind blowing. Yeah, it's still like Idris Elba being Knuckles, right? Ben Schwartz, and then Tails is just um. Uh, the voice actors uh, from the game. Yeah. So that's the only. Yeah, uh, I forget, I forget her name. Fuck, but um, yeah, that's the only like game voice act uh, actors making it in there. Whereas everyone else is kind of a celebrity pick. Um, I forget who's voicing him right now. The uh, I am. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. Colleen Oceanesi, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. That's why I kind of forgot. It's like a long name. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I am very excited. If you haven't uh, cashed out already. <laughs> you know, I am very excited. This is probably, um, probably definitely my most uh, anticipated movie. Of this year, and uh, I'll definitely try to catch it as soon as it comes out. Uh, late night showing, of course, and hopefully it'll be enjoyable. I think it will be enjoyable for the most part. It's just like the nitpicks, right? Have to be resolved, like the music, um, and hopefully, like the key moments are in there too, like the supersonic, super, super shadow stuff, bio lizard, space colony arc, Maria's death. Um, I think those are some of the, the key points that have to be nailed right in order to, um, you know, solidify the tone and everything that's yep. supposed to be for Sonic Adventure 2. As much as that game was very, mm, very cheesy and stuff like that, it, you know, it was a product of its own time kind of thing. But here, I think it fe feels like it's a, a little more appropriate, right? So, you know, a little, it's taking it more, a little more seriously, a little more yep. tasteful. Look at this. This this is like something like you see with like um like a like a Zack Snyder movie or something, you know. <laughs> so yeah, this could potentially be like gut wrenching too. Like man, if they do it right, if they do it right. Now, see, Keanu, I want you to read this line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what am I fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah you might actually say it like that too like honestly if, if there is a line like that <laughs> it's yeah. like no you you can you have to kind of like 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 you're you're hurting mm -hmm. 
no, no, <laughs> this cannot be happening. What am I fighting for? <laughs> yeah, no, the, we killed your fucking dog. You did what? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It's funny because like uh, Keanu, like people will say, "Oh, Keanu, Keanu, this is this is not not a good actor." I mean, the guy who the guy the guy played fucking Duke K- Kaboom, dude. Like Jesus, like do do people not remember? Yeah, yeah. he can act. He just he just has to, or he happens to just play all these characters that are like very, you know, serious and very mostly drained. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm sorry that that Keanu cannot jump into um Bill and Ted ter- um, territory mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. Or point blank, you know, or speed. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they'll ever uh, do some like Keanu Reeves references in this movie, since they they like to do a lot of references. All right. Um, I think there's a couple more things. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that up. Save that for something or another time. And then yeah, let's we'll, let's end it with a uh, brave Exodus because yeah. Um. So could you um uh lead this one as a means to wrap up this episode? So with a heavy heart, because I'm one of the players. Yes. Of this, um, beautiful mobile game. Hmm. Uh, Square Enix is pulling the plug on this because of sales. La di da sales. But a lot of people, not a lot, but I think majority of people forget that this is not a Square Enix, um, you know, production in-house game. Uh huh. They it was um outsourced by Gumi. Mm, okay, okay. So in a sense, Gumi. Not seeing the sales, it's probably saying, "Hey, oh, this, you know, it's ooh, ooh, ooh. oh yeah, oh, yeah. All right, sorry, go ahead." But um, but yeah, so Gumi don't see any profit anymore because the sales have been down. Have they actually been down, yeah. or? Yeah, they have been down. Like, oh, that sucks. Okay, like it's barely you can barely say that it's surviving ends meet it's like it's barely surviving ends meet mm-hmm. um, and also with the uh even with the recent addition of the ff16 mm-hmm. um uh, characters it, it did not help yeah okay okay damn man even that couldn't save him huh oh what the, Type in search. Uh, it might show up here. Hold on, let me see. Okay, okay. Uh, let me see. But yeah, that's the thing too. Now that everything. Yeah, mm, okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, it, but it's only shutting down on the U.S. side, global. Oh, so it's just going Japan, to. It's going to keep Japan going in Japan. Gonna, Okay. Yeah. So, but for 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 so which a lot of people are saying, why why don't you just do offline mode for the U.S. Mm-hmm. or combine it? Right. Yeah. So you... Yeah. Yeah. Well... Yeah. We should merge it with JP version. It's got your games. They're they got you our money. <laughs> they got you our money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the harsh reality of um, these gacha games, man. I mean, you don't know when that plug is going to go like... Yep, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know when they'll pu- pull the plug. I mean, even Hoyo games, um, they're not they're not forever, man. They're going to pull the plug at some point. And I know I put a, quite a bit of money in there, you know, uh, up to this point in the last, what, three years or whatever, three plus years, almost four. So I think it's gonna be a dark moment for me when F go goes like yeah. That's that's another one too, because I did put a lot of money in that game too. We uh, all everyone that we know fucking put mm-hmm. a lot. How much did Keters like threw 
Oh, man, to just yeah. get martyred? Yeah, dude. That's that shit was crazy. L like, what was it? Like a four day stream of him trying to get martyred? I think so. He no, he went crazy for Mordred, man. Because I remember what was it? The first day he just dropped three hundred, and I was like, Yeah, it was something like that, dude. It was crazy for someone like him. And he did, he got like everything else in that banner except for Mordred on that first day, and I'm like, I think he got it eventually, but yeah, it definitely cost. Yeah, he him, got dude. it eventually, but that first day I was like, Oh, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That that game actually makes you feel like shit because there is no pity for that shit. There's like barely a fucking pity for that. There's like barely a pity. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's there now, but it's you now. hardly fucking you hardly feel it. Yeah, because it's like it's what three hundred pulls, guaranteed for guaranteed. But like, um, it does not help after it. It, it goes away after you. You only guaranteed to get that one copy, and then the rest of it's like, oh, you're you're on your own, kid. Yep. Yeah, that's that is that's wild, like, dude. Yeah, like my system on FGO is pretty much if I cannot get the character in the first one hundred sixty dollars worth, I wait till like close to the end of the banner's life cycle, and then I throw another. Mm. That that's my that's my mantra, or whatever you. Okay, like. your, my your, ritual, your, your your policy, yeah. Yeah, interesting. I mean, yeah, I mean, sometimes you know, like like us, we like you fucking hail Mary one damn thing, and I'm like just just staring, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like look, you like look, so I got the who was it? Earth Mother, you got Earth mm -hmm. Moon Mother, like mm -hmm. off of one ticket or something, something like, like that. Just... <laughs> and then you asked me like. How much? How much did it take you? And I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's, that's Fuck gotcha. You right that's now. gotcha, man. And then you, that, and then, and then uh, you're essentially me, that that happened to you in Zenless, man. That you, you are yeah. super lucky in Zenless. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, I got the hail mary, and mm -hmm. then like after the after that initial hell mary i was like eh, let's, let's just throw one in the w drive okay, <laughs> i saw that dude I, I i i was a witness for um the gun stuff man that's that shit was wild oh like oh my it god wasn't, it wasn't live <laughs> yeah, it wasn't live yeah i was like oh damn yeah that shit was know, wild man you were like Cause I, I, cause again, I saw you pulling for her, and you, you almost went all the way to pity. Mm -hmm. I got her. I got her. I beat the fifty fifty. Well, yeah, luckily. you beat the fifty fifty. Yeah. And then here, here, here's my gas. <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't even care. I was like, mm. yeah, you're just like, yeah, hey, it's gonna, I was gonna throw it in there. Why not? I, I don't care if it's an extra Lycon mm -hmm. or um. Mm -hmm. Coletta, or you know, I was like, eh, yeah, I don't care. Just give me, just, just give me any old S. Mm -hmm. I was like, you and it's like, I'm sorry. He's like, he's like, I didn't pray to no god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's gotcha, man. It does that. It it does things like that, man. And then, and sometimes you go all the way, man. All the way to pity, like guaranteed pity, all the way. That shit, that shit hurts. That was kind of like me with Nuvolet, man. I was, oh god, I took everything I had to uh, get him, and then I and, and and the weapon, and then I did the Hail Mary, and then I got I got a copy of Nuvolet. So I was like, right, I'm I'm set. I'm 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 Gucci, man. I'm Gucci, man. <laughs> so, but yeah, all that can just. Poof, vanish. Just like that. Because a company says we're not making enough money. So they just pull the plug and everything you've felt like you've earned, all that time you dumped into the into the game over the years, just poof, gone. You know. That's um that's the harsh reality, man. There's no way for you to just stare at the the, the, the units anymore. You can't even do that. Unless they do it online on offline version but that's like a 
you know, um, he, he, that is a, that takes a miracle and a half for that to, I guess, happen. I guess, yeah, I mean, that does take money too, you know. Um, what usually happens though is fans get a hold of the game and they try to run their own servers, uh, with it. So it's just like just a couple of dedicated people who want to keep the game going. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of how that kind of goes. I think you can only play it through your PC, though. I think I could be wrong on that, but I think that's how it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then what's that about the shutting down of Brave, Brave Exodus? They just already said, like, yeah, once the, once, you know, it's the last day, everyone's account goes that'll snap. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's how, definitely how it works. And then I'm just going like, but but they gave you fucking me. Right, a lot of people did. I'm sure. Um, and isn't like the gotcha for the for this game like kind of crazy, or am I am I mistaken? It's, it's what? It's shit. Man, <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there are definitely worse gotchas out there. Like, I think the S- one of the Sao mobile games are just like really bad. From what I've heard, especially with the weapons, like, like getting the character is not enough. Like you have to get the weapon, and then, um, I think the pity for the weapon is like really, really bad or something. It's like, um, you're also I think better. You have you, like you have to get like a good amount of copies for the weapon, and I don't know, maybe the character or something. It's something went along, along those lines, and it's it's fucking brutal. From what I can remember, I felt like it was it was brutal. But yeah, um, I remember uh two two games that shut off shut down on me, which was uh one of the Tales games, and Tales is like cursed when it comes to mobile games because they 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 just shut them down like left and right. Um. But what, yeah, there was the Tales game. There was the um, that other um, Square game that that just died. Oh, was it the um? Was oh, well, it Fantasy Star or something? Star Star Ocean. Star Ocean. Hmm. Well, wasn't there like a uh, like a Final Fantasy Battle Royale game? Didn't that get shut down? Yeah, uh, Mo- Mobius. Mobius died first. Yeah. And then I think Record Keeper followed suit. Jeez. Yeah, just something about the... It's something about the, the JRPG franchises that get the mobile games get shut down. Especially Tales. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. They just shut, shut it down like nothing. Um, Tales Mobile game. Yeah, and then the city of Final Fantasy Opera Anomia, which was another um stuff, shut down this past February. So, mm-hmm. Which I don't. This thing is because I had it still. Which one was it I played? But yeah, um, yeah, I see. Oh shit! Damn. So, it'll give us the, the startup, but they'll say, "Yeah, you cannot play anymore." Bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I, and um, also um, Dragalia Lost was like a kind of a big one for yeah, me. Yeah, Dragalia Lost was a big hit. Mm-hmm. I put some money into that game too. I had like a good amount of units in that game too. Like. I I um I got a lot of the crossover units like Marth from fucking Fire Emblem and I think I had Mega Man or some shit. It, it was like it was lit. That game was lit, dude. And then they shut it down. So like yeah, all that, all that grinding and shit is just poof. Went away, man. Hurts. It hurts whenever that happens. God damn it! What was that? What was that? Uh, yeah, yeah. What a uh, fucking mobile game that I played. Was it Tech? No, Tales of Tactics. No, 
Um, that was a breaker. There was, there was a mobile game I played before. It was Rage of Bahamut, which eventually turned into um, um, what you guys are. Oh, playing. Ram Blue, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep, that definitely happened because <laughs> uh, a lot of those uh, Bahamut characters are um, Ram Blue characters, like Olivia. <laughs> God damn it, which one was it? Um, that was kind of bothering me. It, it's definitely not that. Definitely not that. Commons, the. the um, fucking god damn it. Alright, whatever. I'm, I don't want to waste any more time, so. Yeah, you know, we, we, we play these gotcha games, you know, for what they are, but yeah, someday we will face the music and uh, have reality hit us that, yeah, they go away. Once they go away, they really go away. Like, there's no, like, just window shopping or look, checking out your units or nothing. You can't stare at them anymore. So that's why I'm, I'm like, looking at, I don't know what's it called. The Final Fantasy Seven Ever Crisis, like Jesus. Mm -hmm. When is your time gonna be? Right. Yeah, this is essentially what we feel whenever a mobile game shuts down. Uh, right. This exact shot. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I think that's pretty much it. We managed to uh, stretch it out to three hours. Pretty good at that, aren't we? <laughs> Yeah, we always manage to bring it three hours. So that is it on our end. Uh, unless you have one more thing to bring up, other than the Final Fantasy game shutting down. I'm hungry. You're hungry. Yes, I am hungry as well. So let's wrap it up. Go eat. <laughs> but yes, let's go eat indeed. Right. Unless Keith David has something to say. Welcome to hell, motherfucker. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. So that is it for 290 of the Hypecast. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in for this episode. Hopefully we'll be back uh, more with more things to talk about. And uh, trying to think of anything that is anything uh, coming up right away. Because September, because we're going to hit September uh, pretty much Tomorrow, as we record this. Tomorrow. Right? Yeah, and then, um, which means TGS is coming up in a, in several weeks or a couple, uh, three weeks or something like that. So that definitely will be something for us to talk about. But yeah. Meanwhile, we can wait and hopefully there will be stuff for us to talk about. The hell are you counting? <laughs> I'm hoping the days until I fucking grow old. We're not there just yet, man. <laughs> we still have ways to go. All no, right. mine's is mine's is next week already. No, it's not. Nah, shut up. <laughs> it is. Oh, oh, oh you you have your birthday off. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not getting old, old. But <laughs> yes, you're getting. You're... Yes, I am. <laughs> I have that age, but people think I'm still in my 20s, so it's like I'm conflicted. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people at work think I'm younger, but I'm actually pretty old. <laughs> I know, that's why it's like, I think, yes, but it's like, thank you, but fuck. <laughs> yeah, because like, when, um, when I had my birth, uh, when it was my birthday earlier this year, I was at work, and people were like, oh, how old are you, by the way? I'm like 34, I'm like, yep. Yeah. It was like, damn, what the fuck? Know, like, the fuck? The fuck? I thought you were in your 20s. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, um, thank, thank you. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll just, see. It. Just getting carded, carded at um, <laughs> that Vegas really pissed me off. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can't help it, man. Like, Can I see your ID, ma'am? Do you really think children 
by themselves will be here on the casino floor without adult supervision. Yes. <laughs> I know, it's like, yes. yes. Then you're doing your job correctly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Las Vegas, baby. Anyway, because whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That works. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>